guys and welcome back to another gameplay and today we're gonna play Twin Mirror and as you can see it says PS4 next to the title it's because the game only comes on PS4 and I think Xbox One too don't think it's a PS4 exclusive but yeah um, the game doesn't come on the come out on the PS5 but thanks to backwards compatibility we can play it on the PS5 but okay, without any further ado, let's play the game. Okay, so here's the thing, um, I always try not to watch so many trailers and read too much about a game because I, I like to have a fresh experience on every single game, just being dropped in the middle of the game, not knowing anything about it. I always like this, I always like to play this way. So I don't know much about this game. I did see, I did stumble upon it first at E3, I don't, rem I don't remember which year. It looked really interesting, it's like a uh, type of Life is Strange vibes. But okay, enough about that. I'm really curious about the game. I hope it will be good. Okay, let's start it. The skies are finally clearing up after a light rain fell most of the afternoon. The weather's approaching 49 degrees, so we've got a brisk West Virginia evening ahead of us. Wrap up tight and settle in, folks. This is 104.3 WVCK, the Basswood Sound. I'm your host, Carrie Hammond. Coming up after a short break, mental health expert Dr. Wick will discuss the recent opioid epidemic that's been affected. Time to kill before the funeral. Might as well spend it here. Okay. Game looks really good so far. Definitely getting life is strange vibes. This place was always one for decisions. Somewhere for things to fall apart. Welcome back to Basswood, Sam.
I came up here every chance I could. One of the all-time great views. Really makes a small town look big. I'm not sure Nick would even want me at his funeral, given how I left things. Strange to think of Basswood without its mine. My hometown. It felt more imposing in my nightmares. I remember spending entire summers on the banks, fishing with Nick. You'd think the massive cliff face would be a giveaway. I get the feeling it still sees some use, given how bad the coverage is up here. These trails were great to walk if you wanted to feel truly alone. Hunting is another tradition I could never get behind. Just don't see the appeal. A lot of people were upset when it closed, but not upset enough to fix it. I left a sandwich in it for a whole week once. Dad never let me forget it. There seems to be something here. I used to love looking at basswood from up here. It helped give me perspective. Until that day. Why can't the real world be as clear and peaceful as my own mind? Even if it does mean nothing stays hidden in here, not even me. I stopped taking his calls. He even called once the day before he died. I'll never know what he wanted to talk to me about. This is Anna. She works freelance. Uh, does a lot of the human interest pieces. What can I say? I'm interested in humans and their pieces. 
What do you like to write? I gotta run to a review with Walt. You two feel free to chit chat. And Sam, be nice. I had never met someone so interested in others, even in me. Something's blocking it. Sam, what are you doing? I'm trying to be romantic. She's like, nope. What? Wait. Please don't tell me you're proposing. I'm down on one knee, a ring. What else would I be doing? Dude, that is already uh, not a good sign. Just stand up. You look like I just ran over your grandma. Okay, the silence is really starting to scare me now. Anna, please say something. Sam, put that away. Come on. I don't want a ring. I don't need a ring. You should know that. We've discussed it before. We weren't happy. She was the one brave enough to face that. Lost in my head again. How much time did I miss? was done. Sam and Anna? Yeah. I missed the funeral. Maybe it's for the best. On the bright side, Nick's not alive for me to let him down again. Okay, back to the car. Sorry, Walter, but I don't think I'll stick around. Given up already? Just a quick, depressing jaunt down memory lane and then you're gone? I know you think that the only thing waiting for you down there is hurt. Lots of hurt. And you might be right. But it's been two years. It's time to face the world. Time to adult. The good news, though, at least... You don't have to do it alone.
Lost the signal. Some things never change. actually came. It's been a while. You've gotten taller. Can we talk? We're talking right now. It's cold. So... You left. Joan, that's not fair. You left. It was more complicated than just me and you. It's always more important than me. Joan, listen. After Anna and I broke up, I couldn't keep living with her. I didn't have anywhere else to stay. So I moved back in with my mom, who's over in Connecticut these days. You didn't call, text, or anything. You were just gone. I don't know what to say to that. You're right. I wasn't in a state where I could reach out to anyone. I'm still not. If Nick hadn't died, I never would have come back. Thanks for being honest. <laughs> You're always at least honest. Listen, I, uh... I wanted to talk to you about what happened to Dad. It doesn't make sense. He wouldn't have just crashed. He drove like a grandma, you know that. It's... wrong. I don't buy it. I'm just in town for the funeral, Joan. I'm not a P.I. or a cop. You're the closest thing I can talk to. Will you just look into it, Muley? Please? She wants her father's death to mean something. But where does that lead? Well, this. What if it leads to the truth? That could change everything. An hour ago, you wanted to run away. Now you want to start another investigation? A few questions won't hurt anyone. Just tonight. To reassure her. And myself. This is a wake. If you poke around, people may end up poking back. Okay, whatever you do, at least leave the kid out of it. It would be cruel to lead her on. Friends don't lie to each other. Even if it means disappointing her again? It's your call. Who's this? Who's this guy? Okay. I'll see what I can see and all that. Gumshoe it up. You will? You make some good points. It doesn't fit. I hate when things don't fit. Yeah, me too. I might just be, I don't know, crazy or something, but... You want to know for sure. I get it. 
Thanks, Muley. I, um, I should go in before my mom misses me. You better get in there, too. Can't hide in your car all night. Who says I'm hiding out here? I do. See you inside. Okay, let's get inside. I feel like this guy is going to want something. Might as well talk to Walter. Okay. I'll have to sooner or later. Whoever said you can judge someone by their car never met Tara. Joan. Same old town, same old bar. The more things change. Anything else here? Uh -huh. I really like the vibe here. Like, you really get this. That it's a cold night. Uh, you really get the, get the feeling that you're in the game. Some of the police force stopped by. Which means, most of the police force stopped by. It's all misty. And the lighting is really well, well done. So well done. Okay. Okay, let's get inside. Yes, the cat food is under the sink. Yes, yes it is, mother. Trust me. Mother? Oh, mother. Samuel is here. I'll call you back. Samuel Higgs, as I live and breathe, has it really been over two years? Regardless, I'm so glad you finally made it. It's good to see you. What kept you? A trip down memory lane. I missed the funeral, but I made it to Nick's wake. You have to bring it in for a hug. It's a basswood back in town requirement. So good to see you. Even if I wish the circumstances were different. Well, what's going in to happen? In times like these, we Just need the comforting him. touch of others. At least I do. Well, that wasn't so bad, I guess. Also, have you spoken to Anna lately? No, why? Um, no reason. If you get the chance, we should catch up. We should really catch up. I'll see you inside. Okay, let's go inside. And um, what's this? read an issue of this paper since I left. I wonder how they've been doing without me. Mm. Oh, okay. Uh, just pause and read. If you want. And uh, nothing else? Nope. Must have been a hard issue to write. Ready for this. Here we go. Mr. Samuel Higgs, big shot investigative reporter. Didn't think you'd ever be back in here. 
I'd gladly slash your tires. But that means you couldn't leave town. And you are leaving town right after this, right? As if you aren't. Well, Nick's memory only goes so far. That's what I thought. Come on, it ain't worth it. Making friends already, I see. Declan, been a while. Hey, careful. I'd rather not be working tonight. And you always seem to angry up everyone's blood. Mm. I'm only here to pay my respects to Nick. Nothing more, nothing less. Yeah, shame that. You watch yourself. I think it's time I go put up a photo at the memorial board. That's what people do, right? Yeah, we talk to him. That's where Nick and I sat every time he dragged me out for drinks after work. Sammy! Oh, it's been ages. Tara? Oh, me? I've had this stomach thing lately, always churning. Uh... And this thing with Nick, his car went up like a Sunday ham. He burned alive, you know. Have you met Hugh? He took over the old pharmacy just after you left. Um, no. The infamous Sam. I've read that article you wrote on the mine. You must have put in a lot of legwork on that. Hmm. Oh, uh, you read it. What do you think? Of the writing? Fine. Fine. Of the reporting? <laughs> Something that needed to be done. Many medicines are a bitter brew, but you still need to take them. That's nice of you to say. Oh, don't hesitate to drop by the pharmacy sometime. Oh, and Sam, you... But for now, I have a feeling you're not here for us. Oh, oh, right. Don't be a stranger, Sam. Okay. Um, maybe let's put the photo on the board? There was no love lost between Kathy and Nick since their divorce. But anyone can see she's taking his death hard. Kathy, uh... Sam, you actually came. It's been too long, Kathy. <sighs> Has it? Joan was really hurt when you left town. Nick and I were never close after the breakup, and... Joan's never had a lot of friends. Yeah. Um... Maybe don't break her heart this time when you leave town. All right? Hard to make promises. I don't do well with those in Joan. I've noticed. But I'll try. Sam, I'm gonna hold you to that. Oh, can you see a flashback? Kind of interesting. You're a lot like Pac-Man, Sam. I consume everything in my path. You find every last bite. The mine closing wasn't your fault. Your investigation just hurried things up. You'll probably save some lives, you know. Hi, Dad. Hi, Muley. You piece of Language. Is that a wedding ring? I didn't know you were thinking about marriage. Oh, it's just... It feels like the right thing to do. Dad, what's the point of getting married? Well... It's just one of those things people do, Bug. Here, 
you can play. Someone has to show you grown-ups. Video games are the realm of the young. Have you talked to Anna about this? That's kind of the point. I'll talk to her about it when I show her the ring. If you say so, hey, just remember I'm here, right? If you need anything, anything but my arcade secrets, those I'll take to the grave. Sorry we lost touch. Sorry I lost touch. Rust up, big guy. This photo always looked weird. Nick could never keep a straight face. He was more her best friend than a dad. I wonder who took that picture. Those two were a great team. Bug was so small back then. Happier times. We drove straight to the sea after work on a Friday. Hell of a weekend. And one more, I think. This one. No, we can check it. But okay, that is the. That's it. Samuel, guess I lost the bet. Bet? Yeah, that bet you'd never come back to Basswood. Not after you went careening out of town like a bat out of hell the instant that article broke bad. Okay, I'll bite. Tell me, Dennis, who did you have a standing bet with? Myself. So I guess I also won. What are you even doing here, Dennis? You and Nick become friends or something? Nope. He thought I was a drunk, which I am. And I thought he was a hack, which he was. This coming from the IT guy. Didn't know resetting passwords could give you a journalism degree. It can. But it does give me less patience for people who sling mud my way. Relax. I'm just playing. <laughs> At least tell me how you've been. Hmm. If you must know, I still haven't bounced back from when Anna and I broke up. I think you mentioned she broke up with you. Yeah, but I hear you. Yeah, that's how I ended up in this shit town. Chasing a woman. Yeah, then she left and I got stuck here with two kids. Anyway, cheers to Nick. A man that, unlike us, people actually liked. Speaking of which... Oh yeah, right. Uh, the music is often copyrighted. As oh no! Time draws near, my dearest dear, when you and I must part. How little you know of the grief and woe.
Anna used to play it almost every night. She stopped after her father's accident. Has it really been two years since I saw her? She hasn't changed a bit. Anna? Sam! I've missed you. Why did it take so long for you to darken my doorstep? I won't lie. It really hurt coming back. I stopped by Lookout Point on the way here. Sam, why'd you do that to yourself? A desire to open old wounds. The old timers gave me hell when I came in too. People around here have short tempers. <laughs> and long memories. But most of them mean well. Sam, the mine was gonna close anyways. Maybe any year or two, five, if the Lord has a sense of humor. It was gonna run dry or have an even bigger disaster. It wasn't your fault. Yeah, I mean, I understand that. It doesn't make it easier, though. It's gotta make it a little easier. When my father lost his legs, nobody knew the mine wasn't following regulations. You were the only one who started asking questions. Whenever people talk about you, he always says, you did the right thing. Yeah, well, your dad's... Joe. He's an oak. Unmoving and annoyingly supportive. <laughs> it wasn't just him. Nick thought your piece was great. He was actually jealous. He always wanted to write something that shook the pillars of heaven, as he used to put it. You know... Nick and I had moved in together, started to get serious. But I think it's only now I realize how much I cared for him. You and Nick started going out? When did this happen? A few months ago. He, he never told you? He asked me to let him be the one to say something. You two had been so close. He probably tried. I hadn't been answering his calls. Ah. <laughs> That's the worst part, right? Anything broken just stays broken now. But this... Th this was all nice. The funeral, the wake... Walter did a good job. <laughs> but it all just makes me feel... heavy. It makes my heart hurt. Like, Nick's memory has been laid on top of me, and I'm still carrying him. Nick's death. Do you know if he had any... enemies? Working on anything dangerous? Whew. Now this is a real can of worms. This is a wake. I know that. Do you? This isn't the time to be digging and pushing. You always do this. You always, I, I get it. I just, you, you're still you, huh? You'll always still be you, Sam. I hope you never change, but I can't handle this right now. I'm gonna go home. I hate that his stuff is all over my house. Then drink and cry all night. You do what you need to do. See you around. Samuel, come, have a round with me. I need a drink no or two. More than 3, or three, and then I'll go. He's owned this bar for almost a decade and still can't afford another employee. It does look tempting. It's supposedly the spirit of coal. Doesn't really belong here anymore. Oh. 
So, Nick wasn't drunk, and me? I was drunk as a skunk. Ah, Samuel, 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 join us. We were just sharing stories about dear Nicholas. And let me get your next round. Maybe Ethan has a suggestion for a worthy spirit? Oh, spirits? Oh, no, no. Friends drink beer. Yes, I suppose that's fitting. To dear Nicholas. Yeah, he'd been coming in a lot lately. Sat right there, with a bad dad joke or two. <laughs> with friends, I guess? Maybe Anna. Oh, by himself, with his laptop as his date. He never drank alone. You two were close, though, right? Tell me about the man outside the bar. He had a terrible memory. Couldn't remember names, dates, passwords. Kept his notes squirreled around him like a horde. He was always good with Joan, though Kathy did the heavy lifting. Took her to school, fed her, clothed her, and Nick would pick her up. Play dad for a few hours, mostly she'd just sit in the office drawing. He'd drop her back off with her mom after dinner. Greater men have done far less by their daughters. The friend of man, the friend of truth. The friend of age and guide of youth. Few hearts like his with virtue warmed few hearts with knowledge so informed. If there's another world, he lives in bliss. If there is none, he made the best of this. Burns, that from your eulogy? You know Robert Burns? And no, just something I keep on hand for toasts. Well, it's a good choice. And sorry about that, Sam. I wasn't trying to bring you down. I'm the one dwelling on these things. Wakes get sad, very sad. Death and drinking is a heady brew. Still, I'm showing jealousy for a dead man. Not the best look. Some would say being honest with yourself is the only way to honor friends. How's the family taking it? Joan and Kathy seem shaken. Kathy has a lot to deal with, now more than ever. And who can prepare for losing a parent? Not a soul. Not a single soul. It always seemed so easy for him. Every day he'd show up, smile, no matter what. Of the qualities in a good man, that one deserves to be at the top. Not a quality I possess. This isn't a place for self-pity. This is a place for dour reflection. Yes, and drinking. To Nick. He was my friend. He will be missed, but not forgotten. Hear, hear. Put that down. Kathy, what's your underage child doing drinking? You have no control over her? Ethan can lose his license. I wasn't doing anything. Don't touch me. Joan. Leave me alone. You guys are all so, so stupid! You do not talk to people that way. I'm, I'm sorry, everyone. She's just so, so... That was quite heavy-handed. I hope the little one doesn't take it to heart. Declan sure came at her with both barrels. Joan's tough, though. She'll be okay.
What a night. I'd say that went well. Ish. You got to chat with everyone you've been avoiding. Even if Joan got inside your head with her whole dad mystery death thing. Just shut up. Coming back to Basswood was your idea. You're the one in the driver's seat, Sam. I can't make you do anything. Deep down, you've been looking for a reason to come back. <sighs> it's gonna be one of those long nights inside your head, huh? Hey, I didn't... I didn't ask for you to be here. To come back. I couldn't let you miss this. You just showed up. You can't see it now, but the guilt would have eaten you alive. You're back out in the world. Feeling emotions, fitting in, that's progress. Fuck the world. Pointless talking and more talking and no one says what they mean. Go away. Let me enjoy being miserable. Just try and make sure you don't do anything stupid. No promises. Okay. What kind of monsters have a checkout at nine? What happened last night? Oh, my head. Pills plus drinking. That was not my best idea. Did I black out or what? Ugh, oh, I can't. I can't think straight. Late for checkout. They can wait a bit more. Why is it so bright outside? Because it's the day, maybe? A mystery to solve. Why is it bright outside? Take some pills. Oh, my head. How many of these did I take? What is he taking anyway? God, what a headache. I feel like a small jackhammer in my left temple. Didn't even get under the covers. Glad I even made it to the bed. Just tossed on the floor. My mother would be proud. At least it won't take me long to get my things. I already feel more human. Now, where did I put my shirt? I'm still kind of wondering who's the guy he's talking to. Um, mm, I'm guessing it's some kind of hallucination because of the pills that he's taking. I was at least hoping I'd look better than I feel. Anything else? In case you're wondering, we can't walk faster. Okay, so should you just put the jacket on? No? Or maybe we can walk faster. Okay, R2. A little faster with R2. Uh, what can we do? Please let there be water. No, no more beer. I need water. Is that... No, that's not water. 
That is vodka, the opposite of water. No, no food. I'll just throw it all up. No water, of course. Well, drink the water from here. Here's some water. <laughs> oh my, it's bloody. Ooh. Toss that out. Isn't it like prison break? <laughs> That's not good. That's. Where did I get this? What did I do? Don't 
Just go. Or as fast as I can. Wait, this one. If I run, I'll keep running. The face would have answers. Uh, I'm thinking of this one or this one. Hide. Never happened. Okay, hide and. If I run, I'll keep running. The face would have. Let's take this one. Yes, answers. Good or bad, I need answers. I know what you're thinking. Stop thinking that. Pills and alcohol? You're lucky enough you didn't wake up dead. I need to know what happened last night. The last place I remember is the bar, so I'll start there. The squeaky nail gets hammered down. Maybe don't play lone wolf detective. I can poke around without making waves. Mostly. It used to be my job. You're great at finding facts. Not quite so good at blending in. I can't just run from whatever this is. So either help me or get out of my head. It's your life, Sam. I just live here. <laughs> I just live here. things change, the more they stay the same. Do you really think breaking and entering is a good idea? Used Ethan's hidden spare key, no breaking involved. I don't know if he'll see it that way. I could wait for the bar to open, or I could look for answers. I picked the latter. We can just look at these things. I doubt Ethan's account somehow led to the blood on my shirt. Mm-hmm. I remember seeing this before. A long time ago. Check this journal. Oh, see? It's filling up. Hmm. Let's check this a little. Mm-hmm, a lot of these. <laughs> okay, uh, damn it. This one. And this one. Okay, that's it. A lot of these, we got a lot of these. Okay. Go check this. What didn't we check?
Whoa. What happened here last night? First, look around, figure out what happened. I ended up drinking alone. So who brought that second glass? Mm -hmm. I like this, I like this. I'm gonna solve a mystery. <laughs> we are playing Connor and the Detroit become human. Do this. Sorry, Nick. Mm -hmm. What knocked this clock off the pillar? Hmm. Anything else? I'll check the ripped. Did this happen yesterday or was it always like that? Mm -hmm. Ah, come on. It might have fallen off the table. Seems some people got rowdy last night. And here's your blood. These were sent scattering. Someone thrown into them? It seems there was a fight. It could explain the blood on my shirt. Does it mean that I was involved? I won't be able to find out without more evidence. Yeah, it was a lot of blood. Let's double check. I think that's everything. He kind of summed it up a bit. Let's see. Nope. Uh, about this room. Nope. I don't think there's anything else. Oh yeah, we checked that. Um, I think we checked everything. Let's try to go outside. Oh, it's snowing. Oh, cute. Okay, see anything else? Hmm. I don't see a puzzle or anything here. Oh, here's something. Yeah! Joel's hat. Uh -huh. Maybe we ended up having it out after all. Okay. Small clues that are easy to miss. Nothing back here, at least. Hmm. Maybe something here. I'm kind of... I'm freezing because of the sound of this big-ass fridge. Oh, here's something. Nope. We... Definitely not the wake Nick would have wished for. Mm-hmm. Aha, uh -huh, so we can do this. What a mess. I hope this wasn't me. Mm. Hugh's business card. Wonder why it's here. Okay, so there's clues within the clue. Okay, let's check this again. Clue and clue and clue. The pot was completely shattered. Looked like it might have been kicked. Could be the same blood that was on my shirt. And from this. DG. Dennis's initials. Was he involved in whatever happened? The flowers are ruined. Looks like they were knocked up. I think I've seen enough to put together the pieces of what happened last night. Really? Just gotta think it through. Let me let me see more. Hmm. 
There was this one here too. Oh, wait. Okay. Let's recreate shit. At least I can always count on this place to make sense. Now to work out what happened while I was blacked out last night. I just need to think it through logically, throw out impossibilities. Until only the truth is left. I know I got into a fight, but it could have played out in many different ways. I have to think it through, find out what really happened. Kinda started here. My memory oh. ends here. I was drinking on my own when someone approached me. I can't remember who it was, but I know we got into a fight. Obviously. figure out how the fight went, I should figure out who my assailant was. Something hit the pillar with enough force to make the clock fall. A person thrown into the pillar would do it. Yeah. Near the jungle. The jukebox is not in the same place. Maybe it was involved in the fight somehow. Yeah. That could be it. I like but this. But I still have to figure out who was sitting next to me. I like this, this. This is really interesting. Okay. Let's take the... The you pharmacist's guy. business card. Like 99. Well, if the fight had ended here, the bar wouldn't be such a mess. Oh. Well, look at that. Looks like not even the memorial board was spared by the brawl. Okay, so we got. We are going to. Find the right answer. This doesn't fit with the thing I found. That's Dennis's. I definitely wanted to shut him up last night. right now I have the complete picture now yeah you know the man who talks to himself has an idiot for an Fuck audience off Dennis <laughs> I see why you have so many friends left in town yeah you would know about that at least my best friend never slept with my ex Hey, who do you blame more, huh? The backstabbing asshole or the bitch? You don't talk about- But that doesn't explain his bloody shirt. Uh, Anna or Nick that way. You think you know who Nick was, Mr. Perfect? Give me a break. You have no idea. No one in this town does. What are you talking about? I'll show you. But not here. Sam. Meet me later at Sam. the-
Ethan is coming back in through the front. At least I think it's him. You think it's him? I can't actually tell if you can't tell. What I know for sure is if it's Ethan, he may not be happy to find you here. So I strongly suggest you leave. And if you don't, I don't have time to lose explaining myself to Ethan. Of course. I come back on the town's Miner's Day celebration. Well, you always did have great timing. No time to dwell on that. Focus. You tried Dennis's cell phone. No answer. So what now? Ask around. See if anyone's seen Dennis today. Maybe see if anything jogs my memory. I've heard worse plans. Basswood's small. If Dennis came through Main Street, someone saw him. Oh my gosh, we can run. Look at this, we can run. Where does Dennis live? He parked here. Dennis, where are you at? Dennis, Dennis. Now doesn't seem like the best time to bother her. Okay, well, we are not gonna bother her then. Oh, so ask around in town. Okay, here's something. But that doesn't explain the bloody shirt. Hmm. Ah, oh, the loading times are back. This is a PS4 game, so the loading times are back. I'm guessing. Oh, I'm hungry now. <laughs> Yo, get out the way! Get out the way! Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. Asshole. That's enough. Ugh. <laughs> Kathy and Hugh were both at the wake. I should talk to them. Oh, Sam. You here to pick up something for your, uh, condition? I have a condition. My condition? Yeah, the one that makes you the way you're always so... you. It's all right, of course. I won't tell anyone. I think I might actually have leaky gut. It's where your intestines starts to dissolve and your half-digested food starts to leak out into your blood. Why not ask the pharmacist? And let him know I might have something like that? You. <laughs> He's basically a stranger. Look, have you seen Dennis? I saw him yesterday. We exchanged pleasantries. At the wake? Oh, I saw you too. Given his condition yesterday, he might have come in here. You walloped him. Why not ask the pharmacist? Yeah, yeah. I'll just check the internet when I get home. It'll tell me what to get. Yeah, girl. It was nice talking to you, Tara. Hmm, was it? It was. Of course it was, girl. Yeah. <laughs> he looks like those doctors you see on commercials. Mm. Maybe. Ah, Samuel. Sorry about Richard. He's always a little on edge. I'm surprised to see you up and about after the night you had. Honestly, 
I was afraid you'd end up like your friend. You were quite inebriated. Yeah, I got to hear all about it secondhand. Really not my finest hour. I would say not, after your barroom brawl. I did my best to prevent you from following that other man outside. And I tried to get you to hand over your keys, but you would have none of it. Sorry about that. The man I had a fight with, Dennis. Have you seen him today? Seen him? No. No, can't say I have. Thanks anyways. That article you wrote, it's done this town a lot of good. <laughs> How do you figure? The mine was a band-aid on a torn artery. Sometimes, doing what is unpopular is still the moral choice. You probably believe that. I'd offer you something for that hangover. But I find, in some cases, time is the best medicine. Hmm. A pill pusher who doesn't want to push pills. That's a new one. Everything is poison. All that matters is the dose. Now you have a good one, young man. Was there anything else you needed, by the way? Hmm. Okay, fine. I'll stop bothering you. I need to get going anyways. Not a bother at all. It's always a pleasure. Do come see me again. Yeah, so that was garbage. They don't know anything. Still here after all these years. She followed Nick to Basswood, but never liked it. Hey, Kathy. Yo, oh, Sam. What can I do you for? Dennis hasn't come in today, has he? Dennis? I haven't seen him since last night. Why? You looking for trouble? Last night we got into a fight. Looking for trouble. Make it double. Like a fist fight. Really? I'm oh, sorry, I missed that. You could both use the thumping. But I left early to go check on Joan. Did you have to say that fantasy about her father being murdered was real? That's not what I... I just want her to be a little girl. Not a little Sam Higgs. Sneaking around and getting into trouble. And now all she can talk about is how you're gonna prove that she's right. Sorry. I know it's not your fault, but... I just don't... I don't... I don't know what to do with her. She's my daughter. And I feel like I'm losing her. I gotta go. If the boss sees me John instead of working, I'll get an earful. You don't have any customers, girl. Take it easy. No one in here was much help. Mm -hmm. So where to now? Now I can't oh. just have you hanging around here all day like a ghost. It's a free country. Hey, don't give me that. Was that him? People have been complaining, so don't let me see you here again. You fascist. What you just... I'm just doing my job. It's nothing personal. Looks like you're not the only one who started off on the wrong foot today. Sorry you have to see that. Some people you just can't reason with. Speaking of, you're still in town. That person you were talking to? Who's that? A lost soul. Vagrancy isn't a crime, but loitering and trespassing are. I try to be understanding, polite, but it's hard when no one is polite back. People call you pig or fascist just for doing your job. Uh, Declan, I've got places to be. Right. Don't need me gabbing at you all day like I was Christina or something. <laughs> Woo! That girl can talk. Just remember, this town don't always respect the things you do. Trust me, I know. You haven't seen Dennis today, have you? Why are you looking for him? 
I wanted to apologize for last night. Huh. I'll just stay out of his way for a day or two. I heard you messed up Dennis pretty good last night. I'm not judging. His head's full of smoke. It takes a while to clear it out. I don't want to keep you, officer. Have a good day. Keep your nose clean. Mm-hmm. So where's Dennis? No luck so far, but I should keep digging around. Someone must have seen Dennis. Mm-hmm. It's not worth it. No one works on a Sunday. Well, no one except me. Oh, what's this? It's not worth it. Oh, no, no one works on a Sunday. Can't skip well, it. No one except me. Okay, what's this? At least the basswood jungle is still standing. This way. Now doesn't seem like the best time to bother her. Okay, well, I'm not gonna bother her. Ah, oh, here. Who are you? Hey. She pulls the look off a lot better than I could. Hey, don't remember seeing you in town before. Passing by? I suppose. I grew up here. Been gone for a couple of years. I'm not staying long. Wait, you managed to leave and still came back? You'd never see me again if I left. Why don't you then? Yeah, sure. I'm just gonna take my millions of dollars and make a run for it. I can barely get by, like everyone else here. Too poor to stay. Too poor to leave. <laughs> Where is the entrance? Here. Remember when this whole celebration used to be twice Gossip as big? Club. Back when this town wasn't just a dead horse we all keep kicking. A dead horse! Ah, now I've gone and made a bit of a mess. Oh, Sam, is that you? Dear, please, could you help an old doddering woman? <laughs> Do I have a choice? I don't know what doddering means. You are many things, but not doddering. Plotting, maybe. Sam, you shouldn't say such things, even if they're true. Mind place. Okay, Muley, for two points. What is the name of the pink pony on the animated cartoon show, Prancers? The super cool one I was telling you about the other day? You know, my favorite? Uh, Polly. Polly Pony? No, that's her sister. She's totally different. Then what is her name? I'm not telling. What if the card comes up again? You really like to win, huh, Buck? All right, coffee for you and hot chocolate for the young... Is that a comic about monsters? It's about Tardigrade Man. He can survive almost anything. His only weakness is his own emotions. He's based <laughs> on the microscopic tardigrades. It has eight legs and can survive star radiation. Huh. Well, it doesn't seem like the kind of thing a young woman should be reading. She says she's going to be an entomologist. What can you do? I am going to be an entomologist. I'm going to study every bug, especially the crawlies. But tardigrade isn't a bug. It's a micro-animal. Well, good for you. Sounds like just what a young woman like you should be reading. So, uh, can we play this again tomorrow, maybe? 
We can play as often as you want. You promise? Yeah, I promise. Pinky swear? If you break those, you go to hell. I don't think you're supposed to be using that language. You can't break this! No matter what. You're real intense for a kid, you know that? Say it! I won't break the pinky swear, no matter what. Thank you so much. You're always such a dear. Say, Christina, have you... Oh, Sam, it's been years. It really is so nice to see you again. Yeah, likewise, but... I wanted to come to the funeral yesterday, but just thinking about it, oh dear. Now, I know you want to interrupt her because I want to interrupt her. So eyes on me, buddy. Happy thoughts, deep breaths. Yeah, well, speaking of the... Poor Joan, losing her father at such a young age. Oh, what a tragedy. I was trying to find one of those games she likes so much to cheer her up. Poor child only has Kathy now, and... Well, far from me to criticize or anything, but these last few months, Kathy hasn't been all there, if you know what I mean. Well, hopefully this tragedy will be a wake-up call for her to be more present. She should take a few weeks off to be with Joan. I know you would never refuse. Don't you agree? Yeah, of course. I'm sure if poor Kathy would only ask him for the time Ah, uh, but look at me. I talk and talk and talk, but you had something to say, didn't you? Have you seen Dennis today? Dennis? No, it's odd, actually. He usually stops in here Sunday mornings. Like how you and Nick used to come over from the paper with Anna every Friday. You three always seem so happy. Oh, but you, Sam, how have you been doing? It's been, well, you know cruise control? I've been on cruise control. You might miss it once it's gone. Life rarely lets you coast for long. You look well. I've been better, hung over this morning. You know what's good for that, coffee. I know, Christina, not right now, I gotta go. Okay, well, let's maybe ask around. Hey, man. Thought I knew everyone, but I don't know you. I used to be a regular a few years ago. Oh, right. You're one of those who skipped town when the mine closed down. You could say that, yes. Town ain't changed much since then. Same old boring basswood. I know most people hate that, but I don't. It's quiet here. It's nice. So quiet, there's no rush hour, I guess. Right? Hmm. Shall we check this? Mm hmm. Oh, she looks so so kind. Glad to see Joan hasn't changed too much. Oh, I didn't check everything. Keychain? I need to? <laughs> Different priorities, I guess. Christina. Always bringing positivity. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's it. Yeah. Um... Okay, so we already talked to her. So... Okay, let's get out of here.
Where else can we look? No luck so far, but I should keep digging around. Mm -hmm. Someone must have seen Dennis. Okay, let's ask Joan. I'm gonna check there too. Hey, Bug. What are you doing out here? Hey, Millie. <laughs> Waiting for my mom to get off her shift at the pharmacy. Drawing. I got a new journal after I left the old one somewhere. <laughs> See? Did you get home okay last night? Yeah. I bike everywhere. It's not like anything scary bad happens in Basswood. At least not normally. <laughs> I heard you asking about my dad last night. Well, I guess I wasn't very subtle, was I? No, you were not. <laughs> Did you find out anything about my dad? Not yet. Not really, at least. Let me know if you find anything, please. I feel like I need something. It's just this town, you know? This place, it feels like I'm suffocating. I can't breathe, I can't think, I can't stand my mom. I don't like school, well, except for science. And just, when I imagine myself in the future, I just don't, I don't know. I don't see this place. Or these people. I'm somewhere else. Anywhere else. I know it's stupid, just... It's not stupid. If you want, you can go anywhere in the world. Have adventures, fall in love. I mean, that's what I've been told anyway. Gross. Okay, well that other stuff sounds okay though. Thanks for listening. I got grown-up stuff I gotta do. I've got kid stuff I gotta see about. So, we're both busy. It's tough seeing her like this. Seems she got older by six years and just two. Okay, so there's this guy here. A statue honoring miners. Pretty meaningless now. Religion's kind of like genetics. If your parents had it, you probably do too. Mm-hmm. Mm. Never forget, huh? Hey, can I ask you something? Hello, young man. Of course you can ask. No promise answering. Why do you bother cleaning the memorial? Well, everything has to look its best for today. Especially the miner. I really didn't think it was going to happen this year. Good thing Mr. Kirkland decided to help out. And besides, that way people can remember with pride we used to be rednecks. That matters to you? It should matter to every West Virginian. And why do you think it should matter so much? How many West Virginians does it take to screw in a light bulb? This doesn't sound like a history lesson. You answer my question, I'll answer yours. So, how many West Virginians? Two. One to hold the light bulb, the other to rotate the planet. <laughs> not bad. The one I have in store is three. One to replace the light bulb, two to complain about how the old one was better. <laughs> that might be a little too close to home. My favorite jokes have always been the ones that make me feel a little sad. So, you still want to hear the story? No. I have to find someone. Some other time, maybe. Well, you're lost. You mm -hmm. take care now. Go away. How about you? 
Losing his legs seemed like the end of him, but he bounced back. And he's a rock. Joe. Sam? You old bridge jump out of your bed. What's the calendar say? Two years, Joe. It's been two years. Too long. Heard you showed up yesterday. Boys give you trouble? <laughs> they might have given me a bit of a welcome back. After the mine closed, well, it ain't easy to put food on the table. Don't let that weigh on you. No one else has lost their legs recently. So, how have you been holding up? Terribly. But Anna keeps me young. How'd you ever let her get away? Uh, you probably know better than me. I heard all about it. Still, I always liked you. Straight shooters are a rare breed these days. I like a man that can look me in the eye and say what he means. I noticed you weren't at the bar last night. Went home after the service. The cripple takes it out of you. Normally, I'd be rotting away in my recliner, but I like to come out, see the decorations, pay my respects to old iron here. This town's been a mining town before I was born, and it'll be one after I die. It's good to get out and celebrate your roots every now and then. I don't have the same perspective on Miner's Day that other people have. No, I suppose you wouldn't. You haven't seen Dennis today, have you? I wish. Just about the only guy I could talk hockey with. Not football? I want to talk football. I could just grab anybody on the street. Dennis actually enjoys a man sport. But no, I haven't seen him. I have places I need to be, but it's good to see you. Just promise you won't wait two years before saying boo again. <laughs> I'll do my best. Somehow, I don't think the town's recent history will be included. Fine with me. Betting there'll be a few more cups before she leaves. <laughs> Some things never change. Sam, I didn't think you'd actually show up. I didn't think I would either. But hey, sometimes we surprise ourselves. So, uh, I hear you got in a fight after I left the wake? It was really more of a scuffle than a fight. A bit of tit for tat. Oh, well, if it was just a bit of friendly fisticuffs. Yeah, I don't know if I could call it friendly. You haven't seen Dennis today, have you? Why? Afraid your powerful blows laid him up? <laughs> so, what are you working on? <laughs> I'm working on an article. On how nature does its best to reclaim the land after a strip mining operation. Why are you looking for Dennis? I can tell something has you spooked. I can always tell. Go on, tell her. You could honestly use a non-imaginary person to confide in. She might slow me down, or try to involve the cops. She might do those things, yes, or she might be someone who you can trust, who can help. Uh, 
I woke up today and my shirt was covered in blood. Blood? What happened? I don't know. Last night, pills and alcohol mixed. It's all a blur. That's why I'm looking for Dennis. Have you tried the Basswood Jungle? He likes to work weekends. No, not yet. I'll do that right now. Sam, is there anything I can do to help? Oh, uh, nah. I'm just gonna do my own thing. <laughs> oh, Sam. What have you done? got here. Is that Sam Higgs? Trying to get back in a newspaper game? I thought you got the message last night. Of course it was hard to tell. Considering you let Declan do your talking for you. Look, fellas. You know Basswood can be a dangerous place. Well, so maybe consider just getting before something bad happened to you. Trust me, I'll be out of here as soon as I can. Good. De Declan's right down the street. Watch yourself while you're in Basswood. Cause we'll be watching you. place used to be my home, or at least felt like it. Where is Dennis? He should be in here. Dennis, where are you? Oh, Dennis. I hear someone typing. Dennis. Oh! Dennis. Dennis. Oh! What happened? Who? Is that how I got blood on me? Did I? You can think through any problem. Keep going. You got this. He looks so cute jumping up and down. The 
this is Dennis's office. There must be some clues around. Sam, keep it together. You can solve this. Figure this out before Dennis dies again and the panic overwhelms you. Chest wound. What kind of weapon did this? Gun. Blood all over the monitor. Not much to go on. I need something useful. The chair is pretty far away from the desk. But I don't think that's important. Chest wound. What kind of weapon did this? Blood sprayed on the desk from the injury. But I need more to go on. Chest wound. What kind of weapon did this? Mm. Okay. Ah, exit wound. Gunshot. The bullet went clean through. The killer must have been close. Where did the bullet go? Gun on him. The bullet stopped here. Small caliber like Dennis's gun. I need to find that gun. From the angle, this was the shooter's position. Was it me? Mm. Mm. Sam, stop it! Come back to reality! But I... I... You didn't do anything! Dennis was already dead when you arrived, can't you see? Dennis was shot, and you don't even own a gun! How could you have done it? All you did was move his body, which is how your shirt got stained. Huh. Think about it, Sam. Calm down and think. Mm. You're... You're right. I can see it. I have the complete picture now. Well, I don't. That his gun? Huh. I don't get it. Murder! So dumb, like, why did he do that? The blood on the shirt was Dennis's, but I didn't kill him. I found him dead. Blackout drunk, panicked. I stumbled to my car. Luckily, I ended up back at the hotel and not wrapped around a pole. Now, I know I didn't do it. The police, though, may not feel the same way. I need to search the area. See if I can find out why someone would murder Dennis. I need to find out why Dennis was killed. It may have something to do with Nick. Dennis's computer is still signed in. Seems like a good place to start.
Yeah, but that guy deleted it. So... Emails between Nick and Dee. They're talking in codes. Nothing stated clearly. They didn't want to risk anyone learning of their meetings. Smart. Someone was watching. Mm-hmm. Whatever Nick was looking into seemed big, but he said it fizzled out. The puzzle comes together. Dennis was reading everyone's emails. He found out that Nick hadn't stopped his investigation like he'd told Walter. And that Nick was still talking to some informant. Then he decided to tell me. And now he's dead. I need to look through any notes Nick left in his office and check Walter's computer. They have to have something for me to go on. Nick Mo Who was Walter again? There's so many names. Ah, this guy. Okay. Still left some notes behind somewhere. Walter also might have something on Nick's work. I should look around. Mm. There's a lot of junk in here, but none of it is useful to me. You didn't deserve this. No one deserves this. Mm, nothing here, I guess. Oh, here's something. Mm -hmm. Joan used to keep this with her at all times, always observing and sketching and... Hmm, what are those numbers? Here. The only thing she cared about then was looking at bugs and drawing them. Oh, wait. Nick's computer is missing. Took it home to work or stolen? Hmm. Nick, Anna, and me. Nick wouldn't mind if I kept this, for old time's sake. Anything else? Weird. Nick was always more a fan of beer than working late. Still not sure. They don't even work here anymore. Someone should really clean up this board. Nick's handwriting. Always paranoid about forgetting things. Mm -hmm. Nothing else? If I had the code, I could get in here. Was it the same one in the notebook? Thirty one twenty one, okay. Thanks, <laughs> bug. Your obsessive snooping pays off. Nick always kept extensive records of his work. He was almost obsessive. How could there be so little information regarding his last investigation? 
Nick was looking into the impact the closure of the mine had on Basswood. But what was he looking for? Nick was traveling all over. Train tickets, hotel bills, out of state even. He was tracking something, or someone. Nick had a contact. Same name as in the email. He was onto something big. What Nick was looking into was something big and dangerous. It's why he was so careful. It's possible Walter missed something. Could be worth checking his office. Probably this one. There might be something around here that hints at Walter's password. Cat. Hopefully his password reminder isn't some esoteric book reference. Ugh. My heart's desire. It could mean a person, but also a place. Mm -hmm. Walter had this article framed after he saw the boost in traffic the Haven got. Basswood is his blood and soul. Wouldn't surprise me if he said it as his password. That's not it. I have to keep looking. And I'm in. Let's see what secrets you got really? in here, Walter. Uh. Mostly standard so far, by the book. I see why Walter wasn't worried. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Nick would never drive without his seatbelt on. And he always kept his window open. The car really burned. Though that's very uncommon in most crashes. So, Walter got the police report from Bess. Nick was supposedly drunk at the wheel, which doesn't sound like him. And his seatbelt was off and his windows up, which both sound very wrong. Walter seemed to buy it, but I don't know if I do. So, did you come to the logical conclusion to this mess we're in? Just a hint. We should get out of town immediately. Basswood isn't the safe, sleepy town it once was. Exactly. Like I said, you should get out of town. And the details of Nick's death, it doesn't sound like him. Two years is a long time, Sam. He may have changed more than you know. Changed decade-long habits? I need to go to the crash site. Just remember, if you're right... Sam? What's happening? Murder! Dennis. That's Dennis. What happened? Is he... Anna, I is listen he... to me. You need to be here with me and listen to what I have to say. Oh my god, no. It's... How could this happen? He died last night. Hours ago. Not much we can do right now. He asked me to meet him here after, but I was so drunk I arrived late. And the person that actually showed up killed him. Your bloody shirt was clearly from this. That means you were here yesterday. It links you to the crime scene. And you've been running around town all morning asking about Dennis. Right. <laughs> he won't look good. We need to call the police. They'll think I killed him. I thought I did at first. I have no alibi. This is not about you. Dennis had a family. They have to know what happened. 
It's the right thing to do. Do you want Walter to find his body come Monday? She has a point. Someone is going to find him eventually. Involving the police would only slow us down. I'll be more efficient on my own. Efficient and possibly friendless. You've already trusted Anna once. I suggest you keep on that road. Do do. What do you think? Hmm. Okay, if that guy says that it's the right choice, okay. Let's choose it. Okay. But not that phone. Use one of the landlines here and don't leave your name. You remember I'm a journalist, right? I know how to keep things confidential. Also, I think whoever did this might be linked to Nick's accident. This is about Nick? The crash? I'm going to the crash site to confirm my suspicions. I'm going with you. I don't know if that's a good idea. You trusted me before. It's only fair I do the same for you. I'll call the cops from here so they can't track us. All right. Here we are. It barely looks like anything happened. It's been a week, but we'll find something. I know we will. Is it okay if I stay here? I don't think I'm ready to- Sure. I doubt I'll be good company anyway. You mean you're over-focused to the point of non-reactive thing? I remember. Especially how you always end up being right, somehow. I hope. I don't know what I'm hoping for. Yeah, me neither. This is the place. Nick, I'll get to the bottom of this. First, gather the clues. Cold, hard, plain facts. That's the only way I'll know what really happened. Okay, let's do this. Hmm. Mm hmm. Best to leave her alone. It's a lot to take in. Yeah. Um. This way? Yeah. This game is pretty interesting. Um. Yeah. Uh, didn't think it would be this interesting. The car went up like kindling. It was pretty intense, judging the damages to the area. But I'm still wondering, what did she say to the police? Did she say that she just Debris found the body? Debris from Nick's car. The police didn't clean up very well. Mm, they never do. The bark got badly burnt. Must be where Nick crashed. Okay. Check this. Oh, how nice we can come back on the road. Okay, so that's it. Oh, here we go. That piece of wood must be from one of the damaged road signs. No skid marks, no trace of sudden braking. Right? How about that, too? Two of the road signs were torn out. Did Nick's car do that? Hmm. The tire tracks clearly show where Nick's car went off the road. These road signs are intact. Not a scratch on them. Murder! Um, yeah, check these. Anything else? I think that's it. 
turn. Inspect. Check this. Anything here? Maybe. here no ah oh, see fuel a fuel stain from Nick's car was it leaking fuel hmm Nick took this turn every day it shouldn't have surprised him oh right If he knew, he wouldn't turn like this. Oh, yeah. Murder. Definitely murder. Murder! through here. Maybe that's what surprised Nick. Hmm. But the tracks don't reach the road. Hmm. Oh. Maybe Nick tried to avoid this log. It's a bit far from the road. Do we got it? That's all the information I need. Okay. Time to put everything together. The report states Nick was driving under the influence of alcohol. He was startled by an animal. drove through a road sign before crashing into a tree. Things don't add up. Unconscious them. I don't think he was drunk. He might have been unconscious. Okay, let's say conscious. And let's get down here and check.
Okay, I don't think though there wasn't anything on the road. Uh, let's check the unconscious. There we go. That's how it went. Bam and bam. But Nick's car did burn. I know that. Okay, so did it get on? Did it catch on fire? Okay, so it. Um. So it did. Oh wait, maybe the fuel. Okay, let's try this. Bam and nope. You have to catch. How could the signs fire? have burned during the crash then? Okay. Well, this one. Only one simulation fits the evidence. The police report was wrong. Well, duh. Okay, so he was unconscious and the car did catch on fire. Hmm. Oh. Who this? Who this? Who this? Glitch, glitch, glitch. I thought you quit. I did. So, did you find anything? Nick, he was murdered. I'm sorry, I don't... The police report was clearly wrong. Fucking... Anna? Here, just... Joe, it's Sam. Where's Anna? Is she okay? Yeah, she's right here. She's just a bit busy. I need her to come back immediately. There's been a break-in at her place. What? Are you all right? What happened? I wasn't there when it happened. Just arrived. Called the police, then called my daughter. We're on our way. Someone broke into your house. Oh, she's next. Okay, so... About Dad. Don't tell him what we found. Please. It'll just worry him for no reason. How are you holding up? After finding out what we found out. I'm guessing about as well as you. Not great. Let me go calm my father down. I'm pretty sure he's ready to call the National Guard. Anna, maybe give her a few moments with Joe before you barge in. Also, take a few moments for yourself as well. You used to live here, and now, some other guy, Nick, of all people, was living here. With her. Things are different. She's different. You're different. I think I can handle this. Hopefully. Keep in mind, Sam, no matter how much you want to, you can never go home again. Okay, then, uh, she lives here. 
The last time I was here, I was shoving weight. He had to get a new one after the accident. Must have been very expensive. <sighs> Didn't think I'd see it again. Not looking forward to stepping back inside. It's... it's fine, Dad. I can handle this. Someone broke into my daughter's house and you want me to just sit by and wait? Yes, that is exactly what I want you to do. Don't you have an appointment? I always have an appointment. I'm at the doctor's more often than I'm home. Sam, talk some sense into my daughter here. Hmm. I'm gonna have to side with Anna on this one. Can't miss appointments. Just because I'm an old man in a wheelchair, you two think you can push me around. <laughs> Dad, I love you. And I love that you want to protect me, but please, it'll be okay. Go to your doctor's appointment. The police will be here soon. I'm just belly aching. It's your house, your rules. I'll leave you to it. Thank you. Though before I head off, Sam, you tell me if something was going on, right? Anna's brave and she's strong, but she's also stubborn. Dad, I told you I can take care of myself. And I'm old enough to know when things ain't right. You tell me now, Sam. You tell me if my little girl is in danger. I can't watch over her anymore, so I need you to keep her safe. Stop talking about me like I'm not here. Joe, I don't know. She's I... all I have left. Promise me you'll protect her. I need your word. Wow. Heavy. Joe's really laying on the paternal guilt. I can't promise something like that. I don't know what might happen. He just wants to feel like someone is looking out for her. I can't blame him. And what if I can't keep that promise? Then refuse. All I know is I personally couldn't say no to a desperate father. Mm, yeah, let's, let's promise him. I still can't hide anything from you. Sam, don't. I won't lie, Joe. There is something going on. It could be dangerous, but I'll make sure Anna doesn't get mixed up in it. All right. I'm trusting you on this. I'm not some kid. I decide what I get mixed up in. You can't blame me for looking after you. I just didn't want you to worry. You're both so patronizing. I'm heading inside. See how bad it is. I need to get in there eventually, but maybe I should look around the property first. I wonder why isn't there any background s sound or audio? I, I did just restart the game and the same thing. No sound, no background noise. Okay, well, I guess we have to live with that. Well, okay, let's get inside. Sent from a mourner. Anna probably couldn't handle taking it inside. Shattered glass. This is how whoever it was broke into the house. Anna is not well. This time, at least, try to be there for her. Anna? Um, Anna, are you... are you okay? I'm gonna go out on a limb and say no. She needs you, buddy. Needs me? I don't even think she knows I'm here. 
What am I supposed to do? Something. Anything. It's the thought. The effort. Get her a drink. Just show her you're here. I'm not sure how a drink will make her feel better about murders and break-ins. But I guess I've heard worse ideas. Okay, let's just check Hannah everything. has to be helping her dad out with these. I'm not sure it's enough. Anna would pace around the house for hours, then sit down and write her articles in one go. My place. Sam, what are you doing? I called for dinner like a dozen times. It's gonna get cold. I am not your mom, you know? Working on an article is no reason to ignore basic politeness, Sam. Fine. You can eat your dinner cold for all I care. I'm done waiting for you. Cheesy action movies, dark thrillers, and human rights. The melting pot of Anna. Anna always wanted to take me to concerts. They were just never my thing. Anna always was more interested in people than cold hard facts. Surprised Anna keeps this letter. I'd keep it too. Mm, there was something here. I got this for Anna's birthday after she mentioned wanting to travel more. It's so weird that the sound just disappeared. This feels like the only part of the house I recognize. And whatever punk broke in here wrecked it. she ever forgave me for saying I didn't think they sounded better. Hmm. Good thing it's intact. It's about the last thing Anna has of her mother. Many things to check. Oh yeah, check these and okay. Let's move on. Okay, let's just check here. Cleaning up that broken frame and glass might help. Out of sight, out of mind. Mind face. I'm not he's not in the picture. Get my place this. Finally, there. Anything else? Oh, yeah. Picture. <sighs> Who 
Who takes the time to have a drink in the middle of a break-in? Hmm. She's not gonna want something cold. Always said cold drinks are for parties. Even when he messed up, Nick always found the right words. Anna's favorite band. Smooth as always, Nick. And I always wanted to visit France. But life is just too strange for me there. Okay, that's it. Yeah. Um, but here... Messy mess. She normally keeps some drinks in the pantry. It's been a while, Sam. Things have changed around here. You feel like looking at old keepsakes? No. Hmm. I hear something. Ah, here's where she keeps the drinks. Chocolate drinks, lime juice. Take the chocolate. Oh no, maybe she doesn't like On the bright like side, it. I don't huh? think it's possible to make her feel worse. You're not helping. What if she doesn't like it? Damn it. Didn't listen to what yes, he has I to am. say about the drinks. Yes, you are. Thanks. Hmm. Can I check this? No, I can't. Where's the drink? He gave it to her? What did he do with the drink? <laughs> It's gone. Him. Who is he? What are you waiting for? Bring it to her already. Yeah, where is it? Chocolate helps everyone feel better. That's sweet. I'd assumed you'd already gone to look around and, I don't know, think. This is just... This is just so fucked. Nick? My house? Sam. You should distract her. Get her talking or thinking about anything else. My stuff, everything is trashed. Is this like the worst coincidence? Or is it related to Nick's death? Did his murderer break into my house? God, I can't help but being pissed at Nick for being dead. It makes no sense. It's all just a lot. I, I used to feel safe here and now, sorry. I just... Thanks, Sam. It's all right. A lot has happened in the last few hours. Sorry, I just kind of lost it for a second there. Yeah, I mean... Careful, Sam. You know you can be indelicate. She needs your support right now. I mean, it hasn't been an easy week, you know? And I've got the feeling it isn't over yet. Huh. Well, we can ask him. She needs support. Something solid. Hmm. I'm here for you. Whatever happens, you're not alone. We'll face it together. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I needed to hear that. Reminding her she has people to lean on is a great start. This whole thing is a mess. But honestly, it's been a mess for a while. Like, everything was fine, you know? Nick moved in. It was nice. But lately, he just closed himself off. He'd been gone most nights. 
at the bar or the fishing shack, come home late refusing to talk about his work. It got unbearable. It was almost like I was living with you all over again. It doesn't feel good, but she needs to get this off her chest. Don't He's be too like harsh a... on her. <laughs> He's like a free therapist. You're right. I shut you out, and I'm sorry. The past is the past. None of what's happening now is your fault. I'm just lashing out. It's just having you in the house. It's, it's bringing back a lot of things. We had a good time. So many memories here, both bad and great. We did have a good time, yeah. But then came Dad's accident. The mine investigation. Your proposal. I still feel horrible about how it all happened. But you... You understand why I said no, right? <laughs> Face it, Sam. If you had paid attention, you'd have known she wasn't going to say yes. Hmm. I know, the timing wasn't great. Your dad's accident, the mine investigation, me being hated by all of Basswood. That's... that's not why I said no. You knew I didn't want to get married. I told you before, I... I never liked the idea. Never wanted a ring. Uh-huh. When you asked, I just... I just thought I was with someone who didn't know me. That terrified me. And then... It ended so abruptly, you and I. I don't think I ever took the time to really process what happened. I wonder if it would have ended the same way with Nick. If my relationship with him was as doomed as my relationship with you. The way Nick closed himself off to me the last few weeks. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I can't bear to live with someone, to truly share my life, to make compromises and all that. She's feeling guilty about what happened. She shouldn't bear that burden alone. Always good with a free therapist. Um. It wasn't your fault that Nick closed himself off. No one makes someone distant, especially someone like Nick. It must have been on his side. He was dealing with something dark. I know that's why I closed people off. I never spoke to Nick again after leaving town. It doesn't matter anyway, now does it? He's dead, and whatever we had is done. And we're on our own if we're gonna find out who killed him. I'm not backing down from this, no matter what we find. What about you? Yeah, I mean... I wanna know who killed Nick as much as you do. Let's get the asshole who did this behind bars. It's Let's the only get thing the we can asshole. do for Nick now. Let's get the Let's asshole! Keep back from terrified Yo. to angry. That is very understandable. Can you take a look upstairs? I still need a moment. Let me make sure I'm done crying and all that. Take your time. I'll tell you if anything's wrong. Did you cry? Did you even cry? Thanks, Sam. She looks very happy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, facial expressions are on point. Okay, upstairs. Let's go, girls. I remember taking this photo. God, seeing it like this. It's not what Anna needed. The door is closed. Huh. She never used to lock it. Hmm. <gasps> What's behind this door? It's so weird without the background s sound. Like, they live in the middle of the woods. So, there's sure it there looks should like be Jones some using sound. This room now. Anna must have been letting her use it when she stayed over. Got the A, corrected the teacher, but still forgot the date. Mr. Unicorny, 
Well, you and Joan have been inseparable since the day she was born. This used to be her old bed. First thing she bought when she settled in. Mind place. Work, you piece of chunk. I know you're awake. No, I'm not. Then how are you talking? I'm a celebrated sleep talker. Come on, get up. I need your help. Did you try rebooting it? That's honestly all I got. I have tried that. If I don't get this done by noon, Walter won't run the article. What do I do? Okay, okay. Let me see it. Thank you. It just won't respond to anything. Do you want a back rub while you work? As your hero, it's the least you could do. I'll do more than that, my white knight. Oh, you will, my princess of the typefaces. Of course, when you fix it. Uh -huh. Not your standard thief, too destructive. Oh, maybe trying to send a message? Nothing else here. As if her week wasn't bad enough already. Hmm. I should erase it. But then the police wouldn't get the burglar's handwriting. No, no, no. Why is it so dark in here? Oh, he's in the closet. Oh yeah, this voice. This room feels so different now. It felt like mine once, but it never was. Nothing else? Aren't you gonna check the closet? I asked Anna what this was once, and she laughed at me. I still don't know what it is. Oh. I guess Anna must have left it on, but she had her laptop with her. Is this Nyx? Is there an USB here? Ooh. Huh? Is someone downloading something off Nick's laptop? I told you they, they are still here in the closet. In the closet, idiot. What did I say? Are oh, you idiot? <laughs> ah! I wanted to check the closet. I think whoever trashed your house just trashed me. Can you stand? I idiot. Yeah. yeah. The headache isn't as bad as the one I had this morning. I couldn't get a good look at them. They just sprinted out of the house, and I heard some weird loud engine drive off. Well, whoever it was, they were dumping data off Nick's computer. I must have interrupted them. 
There's no trace of whatever he took. So what do we even do now? Mm. We need Nick's backups, if he has any. Did he ever do anything like that? Boxes in the attic, files to the cloud, another computer? Did he have anywhere besides here and the basswood jungle he kept things? No. No, I don't, I don't think so. I, I don't... Actually, over the last few months, remember I mentioned Nick has been going out a lot to that old fishing shack his family owns? I know the one. I went there with Nick and Bug a few times. He went mostly in the evenings. Most nights, really. Said he was night fishing. But if he was secretly using it as a second office... It'd be worth taking a look. Ooh. Let's go. Uh. Hello? Yeah? Are you home? Your father called. Said there'd been a break-in? Couldn't they have gotten here two minutes ago? They'll arrest me if they found Dennis's body. You go out the back. I'll talk to Bess and keep her busy. If you're sure, I'll go to the fishing shack. It sounds like if Nick was hiding something, it might be there. Hon, I'm starting to get worried. Sorry! I was just in the bathroom. Be right out. Go! Nick's fishing shack. A lot of memories here. Good memories. Anna said he'd been sneaking off here to work on something. I almost hope I don't find anything. Nick, what were you up to? Still no sound. Really? Don't get why. Kinda annoying. I don't know. Bug? Oh. Muley? How did you... Does my mom know? Does your mom know what? What is this? Mom doesn't know. Good. I've decided to leave town. Bug, that's... This is not a good idea. I've got food for five days. I'll hitchhike and bike down to Virginia. Do you have any idea how far that is? About 80 miles to get down to my Aunt Lisa. My mom hates her. Don't try to stop me. You can't leave like this. Not without telling anyone. <laughs> oh yeah? Why not? That's what you did. She's serious about this. Careful, Sam. This is not a drill. Maybe try to bring up her mother again. You should at least call your mom. My mom? She's hardly even there. She's always so... Plus, I know what she'll say. Calm down, think of the common good. She doesn't do anything, just sits around, takes her back pain pills, and stares at the TV like a lump. Well, that was a miss. When it comes to this kid, your instinct is better than mine. Well... The mother, though, we should have a talk with her later. Well, hmm. Don't always listen Look, to that guy. I'm not a child anymore. I'm not asking for your permission. There's nothing for me here. Hmm. Not the mom. You can always count on me. I'm here now, Bug. I have your back. I promised you I would look into your father's death, and I'm doing it. I'm here now, Bug. Listening. I was there in the parking lot, listening. Yeah, well... But you're just going to leave again another two years? Forever? I think I'm done depending on others. My dad I could rely on. But he's gone. There's nothing else for me around here. I was wrong yesterday. She's not in denial. She's scared. Something terrible happened to him, but no one listens to me. No one cares. Hmm. 
I care. I believe you, and I'm investigating like you asked. I know. People at the wake got upset at you over it. Yeah. They did not like me bringing that up. But Nick was my friend. I want to know what happened to him. I care about that, but I also care about keeping you safe. I know you're doing your best. It's just this town, you know? It just feels like it grinds you down. It's choking me, and I need fresh air. I need some place I can think, not here. Sounds like Basswood really failed this kid. I mean, what am I supposed to do tomorrow? Or the day after? In ten years? <laughs> you ever consider journalism? You have a mind for investigation. Um, isn't it kind of dying? Yeah, that's what makes it beautiful. Fighting to bring people truth in a world that doesn't care about it. <laughs> kind of sounds like you really want to be a journalist. Look, I don't know if you're trying to make me stay, or make me into you, or my father. You're just telling me what I want to hear, or what you think I want to hear. I just want the truth, for once, from someone. I'm wasting my time here with you. Bug. Don't touch me! I'm sick of you, I'm sick of this town, and so I'm going, and you can't stop me. Sam, we have to do something. She just wants honesty. She doesn't care about bullshit. I can relate to that. I'll tell her what we found out about Nick's death. You can't do that. You're the adult. She's the child. Do you want her to start looking for the people who killed her father by herself? Do the responsible thing. Make her stay. It's for her own good. Hmm. No, no. This one. You were right, Bug. Your father didn't die in that crash. Someone killed him and covered it up. Made it look like an accident. Now, I don't know who did it yet or why. That's why I came here. That was maybe too much, Sam. She's a kid. I was right. You were right. I need you to not tell anyone, though. I won't. I won't tell anyone. Not even my And mom. I need you to stay at home. I will. I'm gonna go home right now. Thank you, Sam. See? I don't know if that was a good idea. Mm. Me neither. She seems smart. Right, it worked. Mm, maybe she won't do anything stupid. Now that I've kept your daughter from skipping town... Hmm. Let's see if you've kept anything hidden. He always kept his favorite rod in this special ready-to-go bag to protect it. Bug never was the social type. Just like me. With Nick gone, I guess we both lost our best friend. This is where he kept the rods he'd loan out. So what's his favorite rod doing here? He always kept it separate. Hmm. Locked. Nick always kept a spare key. It'd be somewhere out of Bug's reach. Nothing here. Probably too high and hard to get at anyway. Oh, he looked for it. If no keys. Mm. It's also not the best place if you wanted him to stay hidden. Hmm. Don't see the keys. It was probably too obvious a spot. We used to talk about how hunting was cruel. How much did you change, Nick? Back when Nick and Kathy were college sweethearts. <laughs> Clearly Bug was there too. Joan always liked bugs. 
There used to be a calendar right here. Why did he take it down? How does he know that it's exactly a calendar? Yeah. Oh, there. It's there. Yeah. Behind it. Oh. <laughs> Noise. What a fishy hiding spot, Nick. Always did love your cliches. Ooh. Like many people, Nick kept a few guns. Um, but never at home, and always locked up. America. This is America in one picture. <laughs> uh, grab. A prescription for opioids with Kathy's name on it? Grab it. These are pretty heavy-duty painkillers. Very addictive. Joan wasn't just acting up. Kathy has a problem. Hmm. Can't do anything with it. Oh, here we go. It has to be the same D he was talking to in his emails. D. Mm, let's see. Note. Looks like some kind of reminder Nick left for himself. Reminder of what? I don't know if we could do more with that note. We can check it later. Check that. Nick was trying to find ways to get Joan in college. It's gotten so expensive. An article by Anna about a place called The Cove. Seems it's kind of a commune for outcasts just outside of Basswood. Uh, uh, I think I see something. There's this ring on that right. paper. I think I went through everything here. There's a ring on this paper too, look. Take it. See a ring and a ring over there too. Can you take both of these? Ugh. Okay, so he can't take anything at all. Oh yeah! Well... We gonna find something now. Um, There's like this circle here. If Nick kept this, it means it's important. I just have to figure out why. An article by Anna about a place called The Cove. Seems it's kind of a commune for outcasts just outside of Basswood. Mm-hmm. If Dee met Nick on the day he died, he could be the last person who saw him alive. What can I do with these? Take... Read... We can't do anything with these. Nope. Maybe there's there are more clues. Wait, there's probably more clues. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, another one. Nick, what were you hiding in this bag that's so important you had it locked up? Hmm. 
Let's see if there's just anything else. Man, bugs certainly grew up faster than I realized. Tell a three-year-old kid about Tardigrade Man, and this is what happens. I just wanna check everything here. Oh, see, there's a box here. Now, this record is fraudulent. Nick stretched his fish to beat mine. It would be so nice if there was background sound here. Sit. Whoever killed Nick, I probably know him. Grew up with them. Even if you don't know them, they know you. Nick, Dennis, gone. A stone cold killer walks the streets of Basswood. Things like this can really make you feel isolated, make you realize that at the end of the day, you're in this alone. Mm-hmm. Moving on. Let's just check everything here. Okay, it's most likely this. Unlock. Up, right, left. Right. Down, up, right. Wrong combination. <laughs> Knowing Nick, maybe he left a hint lying around the shack. Oh no. Ah, it's this one. Let's let's ch ch let's check it. I'm gonna figure this out. Uh this probably has to do something with something, something. <laughs> Uh, maybe let's look around. There's maybe something in here. I wanna, f I wanna figure this out on my own. Okay, I, I don't wanna check anything. Weapons. Look. No. Uh Nick was trying to find ways to get Joan in college. No, no, no. That's not that. It's gotten so expensive. I wanna figure this out on my own. Okay, I, I I missed something. I know I missed something. Okay, I checked this. No, it doesn't have any colors on it. But here... Ugh, damn it. <gasps> Got it! There it is! You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. There you were the whole time. A caterpillar. Caterpillar. Okay. So it's red, green, blue, red, yellow. No, I'm not gonna remember this. Damn it. How can I remember this? My memory is so bad. Okay, we found it. Okay. Red, green, blue, red, yellow. No, I'm gonna forget it. Okay, let me try this again. I'm gonna forget it. <laughs> uh, see? Red, blue, green, yellow, yellow, red. Well, I uh, doubt I'm just gonna guess it. Uh, this is gonna take time. Okay, red, green, blue, red, yellow. Red, green, blue, red, yellow. Red, green. <laughs> okay, red, green, blue, red, yellow. Yes! Let's oh, see what we have here. oh, yeah! <laughs> I did that. 
Uh, that wasn't funny. I feel like a five-year-old. That's a lot of cash. More than Nick could make in a decade. Ka ching Okay, we check that. Check that. What's this? Opioids. From D? What's the D? Nick, were you looking into drug trafficking? D, D, D. Okay, files. Open Nick it. Nick was gathering at the cove. And that's how he found Foreman, D. It's the person he met the night he died. I just need to figure out who it is. Uh-huh. Filey files. Oh, let's check these. Okay, it's one of these guys. Um, the guy who was in the closet looked kind of like him, I think. They seem like large, a little large build, and he looks kind of skinny, maybe. Okay, that isn't a good description, I'm sorry. Um, oh, I have to read this. Uh, hmm. Uh huh, Richard is the key. His supplier is, okay, the key. Uh huh, so that's him, that's the DE guy, okay. Um, I don't know, sorry, breaking, you know, Okay. Mm. Okay, nothing with him, but it's him. It literally says there, Richard is the key. Richard, aka Dickie, aka D. Looks like I found who I was looking for. That wasn't. So that's what it oh. was. Nick suspected a drug ring flourished here in Basswood after the mine closed. He had an informant. Dicky, probably a low-level drug dealer, and he also had a lot of cash on hand, more than a reporter should. Dicky set up a meeting with Nick, and now Nick's dead. Dicky may be the only person who knows what really happened. I need to find him. He lives at this place, the Cove, or he did. Anna wrote that article on it. She has to know where it is. <laughs> I hope this game isn't about just some simple drug deal. Someone found out, Nick found out something, they killed him. It's kind of really boring. Like, literally the plot of 98% of the movies out there. Um, I got to read this. Uh, I'll arrive soon. Let's go, it's like the same thing. The same answer. Aha, uh -huh, a bit more. Aha, uh -huh, but we found everything. Okay, but l l let's go. There's nothing else here. I don't think there's anything else here. Yeah, but l l let's just go. Leave. Bye. Someone was watching me. <laughs> Someone is there. Bess barely asked about the break in. She seemed more focused on your fight with Dennis. I'm on top of the suspect list. Or at least I would be if I was her. Bess said I should call her if I found you. She believes you're dangerous. You were right back at the Basswood jungle. I think we're on our own. They'll try to arrest me now. We have to find Dickie. I can't let Joan down. 
I'm sure Dickie's still there. He had no other place to go. What are you two doing? The longer you run from the police, the worse it'll be when they catch up with you. Explain everything. That makes sense. The Cove is a wonderful place. A sort of commune. Lynette who runs it, she lets anyone in who follows her rules. No real questions asked. It's mostly filled with desperate people, though. Recovering junkies, ex-gang members, and... You'll need to be extra careful. Some of them used to work at the mine. So, how should we handle finding Dickie? You and I are gonna figure something out together. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Or worry a little. Just not a ton. <laughs> oh, trust me. I'm worried a ton. Just not a shit ton. We just need to be careful. And look out for each other. This town has like 17 people in it. You've met the killer. I'm not saying you have to run and hide. Just be careful about the lion's den. You have options here. But that's enough. <laughs> What's enough? Uh, enough of a plan. I think we have enough of a plan. Do we? I just get so angry that someone did this. Killed my friends, invaded my home. It's the worst feeling. Like part of my soul has been stolen. We need to find out who did this. I need to take back from them what they took. I need to find some small piece of feeling safe again. If that even makes any sense. Letting that despair break you down? That's how whoever did all this wins. Hiding crime behind tragedy. We have to stay clear-headed to see through it. Yeah, you're right, I think. Then I think something else ten seconds later. Because you've got this. Easy. Look at you. So together. You got so drunk, you've forgotten anything that could have been remotely useful. Your friends are turning up dead. That's not fair. Shut up. Sam. I... Sorry. I didn't... I just... I didn't mean it that way. Don't. Don't take all of this out on me. So you're just gonna keep telling me off? Disregard my advice? Well, if you think you know better, Sam, no reason for me to linger. <laughs> Enjoy your little investigation without me, Sam. Don't get us killed, okay? Here. This is the cove. Huh? Get your head on straight. The cove. We're here. Get your hand right. in the game. Right. Get your hand right. in the game. Sam, you sure you want to keep going? Yeah, I'm... I'm fine. I'm fine. You're sure? You can rest in the car while I ask around. I'll manage. Don't worry about me. There's like five people. Who the hell are you? Huh? Anna, what are you doing here? Tyler, you look healthy. You ain't the only one surprised I'm still alive. Who's the narc? I'm Sam. Was I talking to you? This is Sam. He's a friend. Yeah, lucky for him or I'd have thrown his ass out already. So what are you two here for? It's a long story. We'd like to have a word with Dickie. Have you seen him? <sighs> What'd he do now? Look, just talk to Lynette. She makes the calls on her land. Thank you. Really. Yeah. I know. Is he always like this? Uh, he's pretty much the gatekeeper around here. Interviewed him last time I came by. I'm gonna talk to Lynette. She's kind of in charge. I'll go see what I can find. Okay. But be careful. People only end up here if they have nothing left to lose. They should st stick together. so weird without any background noise. Ah, okay, let's ask him. What do you do? 
Now that's a man that wants to be left alone. Okay, maybe let's just leave him alone. She fits right in. Anna always fits right in. She definitely has the air of someone who's in charge. And it was going well. It's just, I don't know, hard. It doesn't get easier. Oh, this is Sam. He's a friend. We used to date. <laughs> Why did he say that? That much is painfully obvious. Is it? <laughs> yeah, it kind of is. I'm Lynette. What are you here for, Sam? We're looking for Dickie. Yes, Anna told me. She's not gonna help us find him. I do not throw people to the wolves. And you, Sam, are a wolf. You've never had any trouble with him. This is my land. All those who have lost their home are welcome to it. As long as they can follow a few simple rules. Even if Dickie lives on the fringe of our community, he is one of us. All he wants is to be left alone. I would think you, of all people, would understand. I read the article Anna wrote about you and this place. Wait, you read it? When? Nick's fishing shack. Oh. What led you to create this community? I found there were souls in need of help after the mine closed. The world is a cruel place. We all need a touch of kindness in our lives. You're definitely that, Lynette. Thank you, my dear. But don't sell yourself short. Your article brought Kayla here, and even some generous donations have come in. Did you get your answer, Sam? What kind of donations? Food and clothes, mostly. But jobs are hard to come by these days. We must rely on the kindness of others, even if their kindness comes and goes in waves. I'll go now. Thanks for indulging me. Naturally. So Dickie lives here, but his place should be isolated from the others. Mm -hmm. I need more info to figure out where Dickie is. I think we should just ask everyone around here. Maybe let's ask that guy. And that's probably where he lives. He seemed so mad. Well, Tyler set himself up nicely. Hmm. A guy who wants everyone to know he's ready for a fight. Tyler, right? Jackass, right? Some people call me that, yeah. Huh. I'll bet. How did you and Anna meet? You're not the type she normally hangs out with. Maybe you're not the type she normally hangs out with. You ever consider that? Trust me, I have. How do you end up in a place like this? None of your goddamn business. Just tell me where Dickie is and I'll leave. Either that or you'll leave when I break your face. Look, Anna's a friend. She spent some time down here with us to do that interview thing. Told my story, did good by me, by us. And that guy that came after her, Nick, he's solid. Came down here three or four times. Taught me a great recipe for bass. But you, you're just some asshole. Dickie's one of ours. Don't think you're getting anywhere near his trailer. So beat it before I break your knees. <laughs> Busted. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. The clock's ticking. Cops will start looking for me soon. So Dickie is in one of the trailers. That narrows down my search. 
I'm getting there. Just need a bit more info to close in on Dicky. Let's ask him. Sup? You a friend of Kayla's or something? Name's JR. I'm. <laughs> Wait. You're that fucking reporter! I was. Fucking up everyone's lives. <laughs> That's a real talent. Former miner. Get the fuck out of my face! I'm just looking for Dickie. And you think I'll snitch? Get the fuck out of here. You keep bothering me, and I'm gonna stop being nice. Okay, that guy's no help. Makeshift ashtray. Probably keeps down on fire risks. You want here? Guess that explains how we ended up here. Anyone else here? Um. Hmm. Oh, here's someone. She looks like she's used to fending for herself. Watch it. The place is full of wood shavings. And why do you have an open flame? I don't remember asking for your opinion. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm Kayla. What do you want? I'm looking for a guy named Dicky. Don't know where he is and don't care. It might be off with his stupid quad bike thing for all I know. Quad bike thing? Loud. Goes off-road, has four wheels, makes you look like an asshole. Occasionally leaks gasoline and would have burned down the whole camp. Tyler didn't save his sorry ass with his fire extinguisher. Well, I'll see you around. I don't feel like you have to. Dickie must have one of those off-road quads. He could still be here right now. I know enough to make an educated guess. Dickie's got to be in one of these places. Yeah, how am I supposed to know? See one of these quads. Quad. Isolated. Someone lives here. That's where Dickie's hiding. Time to pay him a visit. Are you sure? I only know you by reputation, and what I know I don't like. You don't get to just gallivant around here however you damn well please. So back the hell off, or I will fuck you up. Hey, I don't want any trouble, just sorry. I should kick your ass out of principle. Hey man, this guy ain't worth it. Just forget him. But if he doesn't get the message soon, I'll help you work him over. Got it. Got it. I'm gonna get past these two if I want to reach Dickie. I need to get them to look away from his trailer. <laughs> Around Kayla's tent is the most efficient spot for a distraction. It's at the opposite end of the camp. They'd have their backs turned to me. But I still need a place to hide. They'd suspect me right away. Cabin stands right in the middle of the camp. Far enough from everyone for them to not notice me. Close enough to reach Dickie before they come back. It'd be my best shot. I have a plan. All that remains is to figure out the details. Plan. Makeshift ashtray. Probably keeps down on fire risks. If they're in a panic, they might not see me hiding under this. It's deep enough. I could squeeze in here. Shovel, hose, bucket. 
Nothing useful, but there's enough room to hide in here. Anything else? Socratic philosophy. Dog eared and well read. Can I look at that picture? No, it's just this picture. Hmm. With all the flammable lacquer and varnish, this thing catching fire is sure to divert attention. It's out of the way, so no one should get hurt, but there will be lots of chaos. I just need to work out the exact details. Oh, come on, don't burn their, their house down. Don't burn their place down. It won't take long for the fire to reach those, and when it does, they'll go up in flames in a second. Need to a these shavings would be perfect kindling. Mm -mm, no. The statue will be collateral damage once the fire spreads. Mm. No other option. No. Varnish. Cans empty. Probably used on that statue. Really? Very flammable stuff. Are there matches over there too? If I lit the wood shavings, the varnish on the statue would catch fire. I can get the fire going, but it won't do any good if they put it out right away. I need to check for ways they could put it out. The fire needs to burn long enough to distract, but small enough to be manageable. No. Don't want to see the whole place go up in flames. Is there like any other idea? I saw a fire extinguisher in here earlier. How? If Tyler gets it, the fire might not burn long enough for me to reach Dicky. If I hid Tyler's keys, it'd take him longer to get the fire extinguisher from his trunk. This guy's planning. How did you see a fire extinguisher in there? The windows are covered. Ah. Fire hose. Well. If I sabotage Lynette's old hose, she'll have to find something else to put the fire out with. Got everything I need, but I won't be able to do it by myself. I need Anna's help. Hey, uh, Anna, can I have a quick sidebar? I found him. Where? The goon squad won't let me near it. Lynette isn't going to be any better. They look after their own. I can get there, but I'll need your help. What exactly are you planning? I need to create a distraction to get to Dicky. Setting the bear statue outside Kayla's tent on fire would work, but it's critical I wait for Anna to act first, or I won't have enough time. Then I can use a match to ignite the splinters and get the fire started. I'll have to get out of there before Lynette and Kayla can close in on me. After that, I'll hide in the cabin. Tyler and JR will leave to put the fire out. It'll give me a window of opportunity to run to Dickie's trailer unnoticed. Lynette will go for her hose. She's right next to it. Definitely a problem.
I have to reach the trailer before they put the fire out and notice I'm gone. move differently based on what Anna does. I need to keep it in mind. That'll do it. No one will see me get to Dickey. I need to time everything carefully. I'll only get one shot. You'll have to be cautious. I need you to sabotage the water hose. Unscrew the cap where it attaches so there's no pressure. Okay, but why? Do you trust me? Yes. Then trust me. I'll be right there. Just hold on. Uh, hurry! Hurry, Anna, my bear is burning! Kayla, calm down. It'll be okay. I worked so hard on it. I've been looking for you. We need to talk. Oh, no, look. I'm real sorry I clocked you and shit. Clock me? You were the one that broke into Anna's house. You took something from Nick's computer. What was it? Where is it? I didn't know what was gonna happen, man, I swear. I'm a nobody, all right? I'm just a guy trying to get by, that's all. I just want to take care of my moms and live life, man. And I've been trying to find a way out all my life. I just agreed to talk to him, but just like a quote was... I don't have time. What did you steal? His notes about his article, about the dealing and the, the drugs and names of dealers, and sellers, buyers, everything. I had to or I was going to be next. You've got to believe me. What'd you do with them? Where are they? I don't have them, man. I left the stick at the dead drop up at Makeout Point. He'll pick it up soon and then it's done. No proof, nothing. Who's coming for it? Tell me who's coming for it. My boss, Declan. His name is Declan. Declan? Yeah, the cop. You know him, everyone knows him. Oh man, I'm totally fucked now. 
When he hears I snitched again, I'm fucking done! But how was I supposed to know Nick was gonna stir shit up? Are you saying he's involved in Nick's death? Tell me! Come on! Just let me go! Please, I already told you everything! No, just let me go, all right? You're not going anywhere until you tell me what happened. So? Oh, hell, man! Declan made me set up a meet with Nick, all right? I, I thought they were just gonna talk his shit. Nick freaked out when he saw Declan. He, he tried to bail. But Declan caught up and hit him behind the head. Then Nick dropped, man. He dropped like that. Declan said he didn't mean to. He said it was an accident and shit. He killed Nick. I didn't know, man. You gotta believe me. I never wanted... Man, he didn't... He didn't hey, say... Hey, asswipe! Should've known. Damn firebug. I'm gonna kick the shit out of you. Sam. Sam, we have to get out of here. Shut up. Your ass ain't any better. You brought him here. You've had this coming. I can explain. Oh, you'll explain all right. So I'm gonna give you my rifle. We're leaving. God damn it, woman! It doesn't make any sense. None of it does. Why would Declan do that? He was always a stand-up cop. Now he's a crime boss? No time to think about it. Right now, we need to get to that dead drop. Nick probably gathered enough evidence to reveal what Declan was up to. Our word against his won't cut it. That stick is the only way we'll take him down. Or maybe you could just stay out of this? Declan's trying to save his skin. If you go against him on that promontory, he'll be trapped in a corner. This isn't a game. This isn't a puzzle. And you're dealing with... No one else is gonna die. You can't promise that. It's unfair to think you can. You don't know what's gonna happen. I don't either. But we're the only ones who could possibly bring some closure to these murders. Just control yourself, okay? The fire worked, but people could have gotten hurt. Sam, I know it's been a rough day, but you're freaking me out. Stop zoning out. We're just about there, and I need you to help me figure out our next steps. Next steps? At a place where someone might put a bullet through your head. No, that's too dramatic. Stop it! I'm not doing anything. Other than trying to save your life, you're not thinking clearly. What are you looking at? You're focused on finding the facts and not focused on the very real dangers. You need to focus on the road, not on whatever daydream you're lost in. Just... just stop. You're the one that needs to stop. Sam, you're going too fast. You need to stop. Leave me Sam, alone. stop it. Sam, Sam, Sam stop! Sam, there's a turn. Stop! Stop! Sam, stop! 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 Are you okay? You nearly got us killed. I need... I need a moment. Take your moment, but make it quick. We're already at the promontory. We need to find that dead drop before Declan gets here. We need to talk. Yes, Sam, it's time. Ah, uh, what's happening? Sam, I can't. Where are you going? Get back here. I'm trying, but it's not working. Ah! Uh. No! No! Ah. Losing control of my own mind. Where are you? Can you hear me? Can you even hear me? Do not freak out. You've been through this before. Ugh, I'm back in the same room again. There's got to be a logic to this place. I just need to figure out what it is. Stick to the fundamentals. Breathe. Focus. You can make it out. It still keeps going. If 
feels like I'm trapped in a maze. The question is, where does it lead? There you are. You and I need to talk. What? What's happening? Remember the facts, Sam. That's how you'll get through this. I'm losing control of my own mind again. I'm almost making it a habit. Wonder what's in store for me now. And I'm back to square one. Always tackle a problem head on, of course. There's no running away from it. You think you know who Nick was? Mr. Perfect? Give me a break. You have no idea. No one in this town does. I don't need that right now. They both deserve to be happy. Is that? Your mother told me what happened. I know she's always pushing you to make friends. Yeah. Well, she's just afraid you'll end up alone. She doesn't want you to be unhappy. Is she happy? Not always. I'm not always happy either. Being happy isn't everything. I'd say it's more important to find out who you want to be than to be happy. Here. I brought you something. It's so clear. I can see it all at once. That's what gives it strength. It has nothing to hide. It can see itself for what it really is. And that lets it see everything. It's not a flaw. It's a gift. Like a, a superpower, you know? When the world is a storm, you stand calm at the center. Now, I need to have a real talk with myself. Where are you? You and me, Sam, we can do this. What? Which one are you? Sam, where are you? Uh, Sam, S Sam, where are you? Sam, where are you? No, it's confusing. I can't just walk away. Sam, come with me. Follow me. 
Yeah, I'm coming. this mm, no memories okay don't leave me Lee I don't have a lot of friends no one at school talks to me and you promise apologize she's a kid Sam she wouldn't get it just say you're really sorry. Promise her that you'll be back. She'll like that. Explain yourself to her. Or try to. As best you can. She deserves that. It's not you, Bug. It's this town. It's Anna. It hurts and I can't stay. None of that is my fault. I know, but I still have to go. It's not fair. I understand, but it's not fair. I guess you finally win for once. Oh, I picked the right guy. Kaya straight him. You're leaving town just like that. Not even an explanation for an old friend. Tell him the reasons. Give him a few and he'll be fine. Apologize. He wants to know it's not his fault. Maybe tell him you'll call. No, not this one. He cares. Tell him how much you hurt. Okay, fine. Everyone in town hates me. I think Anna hates me. I... I think I hate me. I have to get away from this place or I'm gonna die here. Inside at least. I get it. Just know I've always got your back. No matter where you go. <laughs> Is that... Am I picking the right one every time? Or is it just a game that all three are okay? Sam, put that away. Come on. Quick, toss the ring. Make a joke. If you don't manage to save face, it's over. Listen to her. Sometimes there's not a right thing to say. Tell her you want this. No, no. Should consider. If you don't, it's over. Middle him. I thought that's what we were supposed to do. I'm sorry, I just... I just wanted to fix things. Sam, did you really think doing something neither of us wanted would fix anything? I know the real you is here. There's only one of you. I can't just choose them all. Think. Focus. Now there's more. How am I supposed to know? Can I even listen? Now what? That's not him? I don't know. They just want to put useless labels on him. Why am I supposed to know? Oh, that one with the mirror. Know you? 
Oh, finally. This game was really... This game was really interesting in the beginning. Now it kinda... I don't know. It doesn't seem that interesting anymore. I said this conversation was over. He's not having a good time at school. He has trouble socializing. Ah, what does that even mean? He's having some trouble making friends, that's all. He's always talking to himself, to his imaginary friend. I had one at his age. Yeah, you had real friends. He talks to himself more than he talks to other people. We should consider what the one teacher mentioned. He doesn't need remedial classes. They just want to put useless labels on him. They're not remedial. They're programs meant to help him with his social skills. It could be good for him. My son is not going to be in some dunce class. You were there when no one else was. And you've been there every step I've taken since. Okay, so he has schizophrenia. Okay. I'm ready. This looks nice. Wow. Okay. Let me out. Let me out. You've opened yourself up a lot more than I expected, especially to Joan and Anna. You're finally back on the right path. I believe some of the credit is mine. I'm doing my best with what I have. I'd say we've had a good thing going. It was tough, but you made compromises. You adapted to other people. Wasn't it nice to feel accepted? We've had our moments, but they never felt authentic. I understand why you'd feel that way. The two halves of your world, they just don't mix. There's Sam, the well-adjusted human. And there's Sam, the depressed, truth-obsessed misanthrope, who doesn't realize objective reality is a subjective myth. I'll tell you what the truth is. To be happy, sometimes you need to focus on people and not things. Stop. I get it. I'm nervous. What if you make the wrong choice? Can I make a wrong choice? That's one I don't really have an answer for. Look, you've been helping me for a long time. Even today, without you, I would still be lost in my own head, in my own panic. Well, technically, that's kind of the case right now. Still, I'll take the compliment. 
but we both know I can't be split in two directions. I have to pick a track. Go along with me. Be a part of society. Be happy. Let things go. Accept the expectations of others. Stop pretending you're someone else. Or keep looking for a truth that may not exist and leave everyone else behind. But seeing the world for what it is, being able to make a difference, no matter the consequences. It's time. Two roads, and you can only take one. Truth is worth more than any of us. Damn society. Damn being happy. I was afraid you'd say that. But you have to be you. I'll see you around. No, you won't, Sam. But good luck. The world is an ugly place when you can really see it. Sam, we don't have time for this. Damn it, she went by herself. No cell reception. If anything happens, we're on our own. You're on your own. She, she gone. She's gone. She gone. Um, she went this way, right? Not sure. Where did she go? Oh, he probably. Declan could be here already. I should be careful. Wow. Oh. We're coming back to the place where the game started. Finally pull yourself out of your days long enough to join me. I was worried about you. I think all that stress got me there. But I'm better now. I've got myself focused and together. I'm with you on this. It's good to hear you're back. So I guess this could be all of this madness coming to a close, right? Hopefully in the good way. Maybe we can bring Nick and Dennis some justice. I'm ready to see it end. We should get back to finding those files. Any luck yet? I can't find them anywhere. Did Dickie say where the dead drop was? He didn't. We'll have to keep looking for it. Did you already go through that side? I've been looking everywhere. So far, all I've found is a lot of gum under tables. Declan could be here any minute. Let's hurry it up. Dude, tell me this is not time. The dead drop doesn't seem to be here. Too exposed. I would put it there. This would be the classic choice, but no. Nothing. Hmm. Rotten food. Probably too gross even for someone like Dickie. Nowhere to hide a USB stick here. How about the teddy bear? I'll put it there. No. How about this down there? The teddy bear? Nope. Oh! <laughs> oh, holy shit. It. it was just lying you there. You did? Let me see. With this? Now get the f, f 
out of there. We'll be able to put Declan behind bars and clear your name. Come on. Hold it there, boss. <laughs> now, you two just relax. We're here for the same reason. Now, all you have to do is give me what you found in that there lockbox. You... How could you look everyone in the eye and lie to them? You went to his wake? You drank with his friends? Yeah. It was harder than you think. Tell me what happened with Nick. Why did you kill him? Same thing that happened to you. He saw an opening and jumped in it. He started asking questions, never actually thought he'd find answers. But he did. And then he kept playing with fire, so he got burned. So that's it. You killed him because he did his job. Don't start thinking I enjoyed doing it. It just had to be done. It was just the same as with that drunk fool, Dennis. All I wanted was to see how much he knew and get him to keep his mouth shut. Turns out he knew more than he should have. It doesn't have to end the same way this time. There's always another option. Almost sounds like you wising up some, Higgs. Doesn't look like you're willing to take the same fall from two years ago. Fuck that common good shit, right? You were one of Basswood's best. People counted on you. Don't even try to give me that. I've given enough to those two-faced hypocrites. Everybody's happy to shake my hand and say how grateful they are. But as soon as you turn around, they'll stab you in the back. Eventually, I realize that's how people are. The only thing left is to adapt. Help keep a lid on things. And if someone's got a profit, might as well be me. Nick and Dennis, that part wasn't supposed to happen. But here we are. And I'm done leaving behind loose ends. I wonder if there's you just- You asshole! No! I wonder if there's just one ending or... Think and move fast. Stay one step ahead of Declan. If I make even a single mistake, there are no second chances this time. He murdered Nick. He murdered Dennis. And he'll murder us. If I can predict his next moves, we might be able to get the upper hand. Who he is will tell me what he'll do. Okay, so to be completely honest with you, I already did this once I almost finished this one and it ended really badly he shot Anna twice and I just want the good ending okay so I'm, I'm gonna try this again I could try going for his gun I didn't do throwing a rock at his head could disorient him uh, there's gonna be a, a multiple scenes like this one and I just did two of them but Let's just, uh, listen. Declan came to tie up loose ends that night. Asshole, Asshole shot me with my own gun. There's a good chance he took it. Still, Still has, has it on him. You need to watch out. You're no good to anyone dead. Take, Take it from me. I don't know exactly which, uh, um... Uh, which choice is the right one. I know one. Which one isn't the right one? Um, okay. This is one. Muley, it's time to give it your all. Don't underestimate Declan. He's, He's stronger than he looks. Anna's got maybe a couple of seconds tops before he overpowers her. You gotta find a way to stop him, Sam. He'll, He'll kill, kill you both. both. Okay, so listen. We are not gonna do this option. This one's gonna end really bad. We're not gonna help her fight him. So it's either throw this rock or take the gun. Um, um, throw rock or rush to the gun. 
Okay, maybe to the gun. I'm gonna take take the gun. Mm. The thing is that he has a, another gun. Uh, he has this gun that he shot Dennis with. And... Maybe throw the rock? Maybe? Throwing a rock at his head could disorient him. Maybe? Okay. Let's do this one. Let's try it. <gasps> yes! Oh no, he shot her! Did he shoot her? Oh, okay, so that was, that was a good choice. Declan can't see me. I have to use this to my advantage. Okay, I did this one too. But did he shot her? I should strike him on his blind side and use the element of surprise. But that'll only work if I can predict what he'll do next. Um... He shot her, or not? Did he shoot her or Think, not? Sam. That's like the... what I'm Get trying... Get us safe for now. I need to keep it up. Okay, so she's fine. Declan might continue going after Anna. It's, it's kind of uncertain what he's gonna do, but uh, in the first one he shot her and he went after her again. Uh, so I'm wondering if he's gonna do the same thing. Um, oh, come on. Click. 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 Declan might go for his gun. Declan might attack me now. I wonder if he's gonna do the same thing. This is kind of this is kind of what I'm thinking. Okay, but let's let's listen here. That man is a monster, and he'll kill, kill you me. and my little girl as soon as spit. But he ain't dumb. If he uses his service his gun, gun, it'd be traced back to him. And he's been covering his tracks so far. Uh, there's one more here. You know, Declan's killed two people already. Put them in the dirt. But he kills for reasons, yeah? He wants, he wants to, to destroy the evidence. Since your girlfriend has it. You better act fast, man. Okay, okay. So I'm guessing he's gonna go after her again. Okay. You don't have to fight, just leave. None of this has to ever hurt you again. I'm done running. Okay. So... My final guess is that he's gonna go after her. Or after the gun. Where was the gun again? Attack Sam, rush for the gun. Yeah, but def definitely he would rush for the gun. If Declan tries to get his gun, he won't see an attack from the left. No, no, no. He will definitely go for the gun, gun first. Uh, why would he go for her first? If the gun is in the middle here. Okay, so that, that's the one I'm thinking. Yeah, okay. If Declan tries to get his gun, he won't see an attack from the left. Okay, let's let's see, let's try this one. I think it's the right one. Ah! You always were a runner. No, 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 no! Hand it over. We can all still just walk away from this. No. Okay, that wasn't the right one. <laughs> okay, but she's been shot once in the shoulder. Okay, she'll be fine. She'll be fine. If I don't do something, we're dead. But if I do the wrong thing... Okay, this one, I haven't done this one. Okay. I have to stay focused. Account for all the elements at play here. Anna's been shot. I have to take out Declan and fast. No more mistakes, Sam. 
I could rush him and try and take his gun out of the equation. Declan is focused on me. I have to make this moment count. If I can get close enough, I can stop Declan from using his gun. Maybe? It's definitely risky. Anna's been shot. I need to help her, and fast. No more mistakes, Sam. You have to save Anna. We dragged, dragged her into this mess. I dragged her into this mess. If you could distract Declan, Anna might have time, have time to get the gun. Keep his eyes, eyes on you, Sam. Wait, what, what did he say? You have to save Anna. We dragged, dragged her into this mess. I dragged her into this mess. If you could distract Declan, Anna might have time, time to get the gun. Keep his eyes, eyes on you, Sam. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Joan. Anna's really, really hurt. That ugly yellow phone may be the only way, way to get, to get her help, help quickly enough. No, no, no. That big jerk's not stupid. He'll probably, He'll probably keep an eye on that phone. I could get behind cover. No, it's, let's go after the gun. No, that, that, he's gonna use it again. I know that he will. If I can get close enough, I can stop Declan from using his gun. But it's definitely risky. If we're gonna hide behind the tree, he's gonna shoot her again. Probably. woman has been shot. I need an ambulance. Just hurry! No, she's fine. She's just been shot in the shoulder. In the shoulder. Okay, good. Stay with me. You have to stay with me. I'm fine. Don't worry. Anna, I'm... Anna, please. What? Did he die? Did she die? No. We'll put the pressure on the womb. <laughs> Carrie James at 1043 WVCK, the Basswood Sound. You heard the news today? The local cop who died in that fatal shooting last week is apparently the head of a small opioid ring right here in Basswood. Crazy. It's believed he used his position to bring in drugs from all over the county and that he murdered two people in an attempted cover up. Oh, see, Good news, she's fine. however, the journalist who was wounded while confronting the rogue cop was released from the hospital today. See. All good. Looks like oh. I'm not the only one who's come to visit Anna. Oh. Many people. Sam, hold your horses. Anna's busy with the sheriff. You should probably give him a moment or two. Sure, Joe. How you been? How have I been? Son, I appreciate you being here for Anna, but you don't change what happened. My girl's hurt real bad. And things could have been even worse without you. You did good. Joe. No, Anna told me what you did. How hard you fought. Thank you for keeping your word. I wish I could say it was all by intention. A lot of luck involved. Whatever it was, thank you. But you better not drag my daughter into any more dangerous situations, all right?
Where are they? Where are Dad's notebooks? The yellow legal pad ones? You can get them later. You need to say hello to the guests who just arrived. The yellow ones were Dad's favorites. I wanted to start Joan? using them. Uh, they've got to be here somewhere. Just Joan give me Waldron. a minute. Don't make me say it again. Fine. I guess it doesn't really matter. Careful, Muley. She's in one of her moods. I'm sorry you had to see that. It was hard before, but now she's completely shut me out. It's not surprising, given what happened. This town is no place for a teenager. Kathy, now is the time to get out of Basswood. You don't understand. It's not that easy to leave. You've always managed to get Joan to talk to you. Any advice? Kathy, when did you start taking opioids? What? What does that have to do with... What do you think happens if someone finds out and reports you? You could lose your job. How dare you? You don't know anything about what I've been through. I don't, but it doesn't change the facts. You need to get help. Oh, and who's gonna look after Joan in the meantime? Who'll pay for the treatment, huh? Don't you have family in the region? Well, I... There is my sister down in Virginia, but I... But you're not on good terms, Joan told me. Still, you don't have a choice if you intend to keep custody of her. You've always been a cold-hearted asshole. You know that? Do her a favor and forget about us for good this time. Did I, do, did I make the wrong choice again? Come on. Ugh, where's Joan? No, no audio. Hey, Bug. Hey, Muley. How are you holding up? Fine, I guess. Well, at least that's what most people want me to say when they ask. Come on, Bug. I want to know how you feel. How you really feel. I guess... better today than yesterday? Maybe? I still miss Dad. But finding out what happened to him... I don't know. Makes me feel a bit better. It's not bad that it makes me feel better, right? No. It's not bad. I feel the same way. Hey, Muley. Are you staying around this time? I can't stay, Bug. Oh. I talked to your mom. She's gonna try to do better by you. It won't be easy, but I know you can be strong. You have to try to work with her. She's still your mom. I... Uh, I'll try. I'm gonna miss you, Muley. I'll really miss you. Me too, Bug. I need to find Anna. Call me whenever you want to. Deal? Yeah. Deal. Can I talk to Walter? Walter. Samuel, my boy. As I live and breathe. I kept meeting to call, but phones are so... impersonal. How are you holding up? Well, let's say that I've had better weeks. Not a hard thing to believe. You went through something terrible, but I'm glad you came out the other end. I've had a brush myself with the Maker here and there, and I would never call them fun. Not fun at all. Life-affirming, though, definitely. Even for those close to you, it leaves a mark. Now, two members of my family of heart are gone. One is wounded. It might be time for me to finally hang up my saddle. The Basswood Jungle has printed its last pages. If you feel it's the right thing to do. Believe me, it doesn't feel right one bit, but my flame has run its course. Without Nick, without Dennis. Can't run a paper by yourself. Nor would I want to. Well, I, I've taken up enough of your time. I'll leave you to the other guests. Drop me a line sometime. Drop me a line. Okay. Um, anything else? Hey, 
And you make sure to push yourself. Get some fresh air. Don't let these doctors keep you cooped up for too long now. Oh, Sam, you're finally here. I was looking for you. Now I know you've been through hell and back. I know that. If there's anything the Basswood Police Department can do for you, or even just little old me, you give me a holler, all right? For now, well, I got some good news for you for once. We found Declan's fingerprints on Dennis's gun. And since your testimony and Anna's corroborate Dickie's statement, no charges are going to be filed against you or Anna. It's clear self-defense. Still hard to believe a man I trusted was running a drug ring. Here. What? I'm gonna make sure that what happened to Nick is big news. I know you will, sweetie. Just keep something in mind. I think God put an angel and a devil in each of us when we were born. We spend our whole lives watching them fight it out. And most days, that little angel comes out on top. But we all have times when it's the devil who's in charge. We make our own decisions, Bess, and we have to live with them. And I can promise you one thing. I won't let another Declan happen again. You have my word on that. Well, I'd love to stay, but I'm afraid duty calls. Look after yourself, Sam. Mm-hmm. Did Anna come out too? Not sh oh yeah, there she is. So... So... I wasn't sure you'd show up at all. I meant to get here before, but... You look better? Uh, better than last week, I guess, but that's setting a low bar. It could have been even worse if you hadn't... You, know, you saved my life. There was a lot of life-saving on both sides. You did some yourself. I did, didn't I? I'm a hero. We're both heroes. I mean, I guess. I still outrank you, though. You didn't get shot. What's wrong? I wish we'd gotten those files. The guy who was behind it all broke his neck trying to kill us. Case closed. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I didn't get you're the probably files. right. I just hate loose ends. Life is made of loose ends. People are made of loose ends. Loosen up. That's what I like to do the least. Same old Sam. So what are you going to do next with your unshot and healthy body? I'm gonna get myself together. I've spent enough time moping. I'm glad to hear that. I should go. I had a feeling you would say that. You stay out of trouble, Sam Higgs. And maybe don't wait so long to darken my doorstep again. I guess we'll just have to see, won't we? Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. All the wrong choices here. <laughs> okay, all I did like I did everything wrong. That's me. Okay, so all I all I can do is go. No hug. They didn't even hug each other to Mr. Higgs. Goodbye. Not surprised to see you here. I'm a little surprised to see you. I'm just giving my well wishes to Miss Miller. You did the right thing rooting out that ruffian. The town is better for it. Right or wrong, it doesn't feel good. People got hurt. That may be true. Still, what you did helped everyone. Really bolstered the common good. Be proud. Common good. I've heard that before. Common good. Common good. Common, 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 common good shit. Right? What? I know what she'll say. Calm down. Think of the common good. Don't, don't understand. It's not that easy to leave. Kathy, could she be the supplier? Get out the way. Ooh. Ooh. Something's missing. How did Declan know I was meeting Dennis? I heard you messed up Dennis pretty good last night. Go check on Joan. Who overheard me and Dennis talking? Who told Declan? After your barroom brawl. I did, I did best to prevent you from following that other man outside. Have you met Hugh? He took over the old pharmacy just after you left. Nick suspected a drug ring flourished after the mine closed. Honestly, I'm afraid you'd end up like your friend. I'm in good. I'm in good. I'm in good. ka -ching. Young man, is everything all right? <laughs> I was lost in thought, and I've been lost in thought a lot lately. Oh, yes, yes. I'm sure you have a lot to think about. Nick never put it together. He was too close. It was you. What exactly are you trying to say? It wasn't enough to be a pill mill like every other two-bit pharmacy. You've been skimming. Extra boxes lost, records forged, ending up with Declan? Nah. That is a very serious accusation. The kind that without proof would never hold up. Kathy has to have the specifics. She's nervous and probably scared. But your trigger man is gone. Do you think she'll stay scared? Three people are dead. Their trails all lead back to you. You seem to have me confused for a criminal mastermind. I'm just a small-town businessman. I go where there's opportunity. And I've helped this town. I've created jobs. I've invested. I never forced anyone to do anything. I've only given people what they wanted. 
what they needed. I was here. I rolled up my sleeves and I got to work. Where were you? I'm here now. My sleeves are rolled up and I'm getting to work. I'm not asking for you to explain. I just wanted you to know. I wanted to look you in the eye before I brought your whole world down. Joe Kathy Joan. Don't you threaten them. I would never, but you do. Why do you think Nick never wrote his article? Never went to the police? Just say whatever lies you think will save you. Very well. If you insist. A little girl's future and a girlfriend with an aging father both cost money. People always find ways to get what they want. The question is, who profits? Criminals? Mobsters? Lowlifes? Take out the middleman and a worse one slides in. Nick understood as much. He wasn't like that. You didn't know him. Did you? He was going to bury the story. Nick is dead. What he did or didn't do at the end doesn't make a difference now. That's true. What Nick did is irrelevant. What matters is what you'll be doing. If you drop this misguided effort to accuse a kindly old man of heinous acts, I promise, Kathy, Joe and Joan will want for nothing. However, if you follow through with this foolishness, I only doubt I'd spend even a single day behind bars. I'm old. I have money and lawyers, and when I speak, people listen. But what of Nick? Who took bribes, buried the truth? What will his daughter think? When I have no choice but to reveal he is just another dirty reporter. And let's not forget poor Kathy, who worked directly for me. It would at least cost her her job. Isn't being a single parent hard enough? Don't throw their lives away, Sam. Learn from your mistakes. Hmm. You can do whatever you want. I'm gonna finish what Nick started. Maybe you'll go to jail, maybe not. But people will know what you did. Yeah, and they'll all know the, the right common choice. good never factored in. You did it all for yourself. And I'll make sure the life you've built burns for it. No, that wasn't a good choice. Mm -mm. No, that wasn't the right. That wasn't right. Well, yeah. Well, folks, I hope you got your seatbelts on, because we've got one nasty story coming up. Uh -oh. Two years ago, West Virginia, a small mining town loses its mind. Income plummets, unemployment skyrockets. The stage is set for an unscrupulous pharmacist to roll into town. Two years later, over one million pills were shipped to the small West Virginia town of Basswood. Many sold right here on our streets. The article by journalist Samuel Higgs goes on. Information brought to light in this article led to the investigation of Hugh Kirkland, a seemingly respectable senior who turned out to be the mastermind behind this pill mill scheme. The Basswood Police Department is now under investigation. How the small town of Basswood can recover from such a blow is anyone's guess. All right, time to kick up your feet on the dashboard. Okay, then I'm not sure if I made the right choices. Or the ending. Not sure if it was. 
they didn't exactly say if someone died or if he blackmailed uh, that, that guy. If he blackmailed anyone. Okay, well maybe... That's it. Okay, that's it. That's it for the game. There's definitely like a following. I'm, I'm feeling that there's gonna be like a... Uh, like a follow-up to this game because kind of uh, ended kind of unfinished a little unfinished maybe okay thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in around a week for cyberpunk 2077